Hi, Erica. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Happy Monday. I thought we'd do some sketching today. I pulled out some stuff to do some sketching on the art scroll. Well, it's art scroll, cut down art scroll. <laughs> so, yeah, I pulled out some uh, stuff to draw with. And, uh, yeah. How you doing? Happy Monday to you, too. Can you hear me okay? Bueller, Bueller. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi, Sharon L. Diane. Ready for some art? Good, good. <laughs> okay, good. You can hear me. Okay. So, yeah. So, I just pulled out, you know, the, I usually sketch with some Conti crayons and then we paint them or color them or whatever we want to do. So. <laughs> <clears throat> Hi, Nash. How you doing? How, happy Monday to you, too. So I'll tweet here in a minute. I'll get crack a lacking. Hi, Gail, Darla. Good morning. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a good weekend. Hope you got to do something creative. What'd y'all do over the weekend? Anything? <clears throat> Nobody did anything. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so, yeah, I just thought we might do some sketching and I don't know, maybe we'll color some things in. We'll see. I just thought it'd be a good, chill, you know, sit and sketch. Clean the house. Okay. Oh, that's nice, Gail. That's nice to get out with them. I, what, have you not been able to hang out with them? So you now you can, Gail? That's awesome. Yeah, I saw mine about two weeks ago. I got my coffee here, my juice. Hi, Nanamo. Happy Monday to you, too. Hi, Julie Topaz. Happy Marvelous Monday to you. <laughs> good to see you how was your weekend julie you're sketchy nash good hi domestic fox good morning hi <laughs> hi <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi, Pacola. So if y'all don't know, um, this is Coffee and Art in the Morning. I'm Dee Dee Willingham. You can see my uh, name right there. Uh, that's You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, using that name. And um, I come on a little early. I usually stream nine around 9 o'clock. Sometimes a few minutes we start early. But 9 a.m. Eastern, Monday and Wednesday, and the occasional impromptu which on friday we did have an impromptu we had zippy the unicorn on <laughs> me and janet and zippy we, we had a good it was it was a lot of fun um <laughs> the week's looking good again. all right good julie hi nancy and there's our other mod pacola pacola julie janet eileen are my mods and um yeah so if they tell you something if they tell you go sit in the corner then <laughs> what they say goes i do not regulate my whatever my mods say go so yeah <laughs> hi arlene <laughs> lindsay so i usually come on and say good morning to everybody for a few minutes before the show starts and uh, just see how everybody's doing, chit-chat. I try chat during, it's a chat show. Uh, yeah, it is an arty chat show. <laughs> so we chat all the all the show. 
Um, but I do try to catch as many people as I can before the show starts. Because once I start drawing and I'm looking away, obviously I'm not going to catch all of the chat. But if you do want to say something to me, put it in caps. I won't think you're yelling at me. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Melinda. Waiting, watching while I get ready to start work at 8. Okay. Well, thanks for stopping in, Melinda. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kimberly557. Five, five, <laughs> Hi, Cat and Paste. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so Friday we had an impromptu Friday for about a little over an hour. Uh, I try to schedule in between other people that, you know, usually stream on Fridays and uh, on, on their regular time. But uh, yeah, so sometimes you just gotta you just gotta go on there. You gotta roll with it. When Zippy can come on, then you roll with it. Yeah, it was so funny too. Um, Hubster watched it and he goes, "Oh my gosh, you gotta have Zippy back on. He's hilarious." <laughs> I said, "I know, Zippy. We will have Zippy back on." Kelly S. Uh, who else am I missing? Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know what being good means. Uh oh. <laughs> and then my mom, my mom watched the show. She goes, I was watching, I came on your show on Friday and I didn't understand it. I didn't get it. <laughs> what was that? Because she's used to me having just drawing shows, right? And uh, I don't even think she's ever seen me have a guest on the show, you know. So um, when she saw Zippy the unicorn, she goes, I didn't get it. I said, I was just, a, you know, Zippy's a comedian. You just have, you know, it's just something for fun. She goes, oh, okay. But Hubster thought it was a hoot. He said, you got to have Zippy back on. <laughs> I said, I will. Hi, Carla. <laughs> but uh, let's see what else. Oh, da, 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 da. Sounds like the circus music. <laughs> so, yeah, so I just I just pulled out my box of pencil stuff here, of drawing stuff. Uh, I have other pencils, obviously, but this is just kind of what I keep my uh, charcoals. And I don't really use charcoal, but I have it. And uh, charcoal pencils. I usually just use my Conti crayons to sketch with. But I have other pencils and... Lots of Conti crayons and just whatever, just stuff to draw with. And this, all this did not come in this uh, box, but it has two layers. And so I put other stuff in the box. I took all the plastic out so I could just put regular tools in there. Hi, Leah. Leah S. Who else? Debbie the Doodler. Good morning, everybody. So y'all be thinking of an, don't, don't put it in yet. Well, you can. I'll write it down. Think of, so if y'all have a, um, an animal you'd like me to draw, excuse the squeaky chair. I say that all the time because it makes a lot of noise, but it's my 25 year old chair and I'm not getting rid of it because it squeaks. So <laughs> just, it's so comfortable. I got all my, my shirts and Wooly, I mean a wolfy, and what else do I have? I'm sitting on a nice comfy blanket, so it's uh, I've retaped, uh, duct taped the arms over and over, and it's just so comfortable. I can't get rid of it, so it does squeak. Oh, uh, so anyway, be thinking of some animals. Hi, Erica, Deidre, yeah. What what is a quokka? We I think you somebody has said that before, uh, Pacola. A quokka? Let me look it up. I got my phone right here. Let me look up what that is. So, so y'all know I just usually just take requests. Um, we just did we did a hummingbird. I have a hummingbird uh, nanamo on the um, in the art scroll. I have a, I have that. I have a. I'll, I'll write it down, but. I did two hummingbirds already in the art scroll. But maybe. Let's see. A seahorse. Um, I did a seahorse too not too long ago, uh, Melinda. But I'll write that down. 
I'm writing them down. Hi, Carolyn. Good. Well, welcome from one of the lurkers. A Griffin. Uh, oh, no, don't be sorry. Good grief. <laughs> uh, domestic fox wants a fox. <laughs> I also thought maybe a red panda. Because I've drawn red pandas before, too. But got a couple fox, a badger. Okay, I'm writing this down. I still haven't looked up your quokka uh, pacola. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I don't really want to do uh, fantasy animals today. I just want to just draw animals. Yeah, I think we did a dragon not too long. Well, it's been a while. Hi, Deidre, an octopus. Yeah, I uh, uh, I did some inking, some, uh, some octopus inks because of the detail. Um, and we did a rhino for at Christmas, Melinda. We put a big bow on his horn. A platypus, hedgehog. We did a hedgehog. Actually, did a hedgehog. Little creative. We actually did a hedgehog. I think two scrolls ago. Um, I need to pull the animals out so I guess so y'all can see what we've done. Cause y'all are asking for a lot of the same ones. Hi, Janet. There's our other mod, Janet, popping in. Hope you had a good weekend, too. I'm going to draw uh, animals on. I say the art scroll. It's an art scroll cut down. It's cut down so that um, uh, it's manageable. When it's on the roll, and when I say the art scroll, all I mean is a roll of shipping paper. A pelican. I Yeah, Azure. I don't know. I have, think I have done a pelican, but. Uh, I think it was a it was a commission, but I don't think I've done it on the art scroll. I wrote it down. Linda, Shora, <laughs> did you see Linda? You com you said Shora in a, in a comment. And I answered you back, but I don't in the in the YouTube comments. I don't know that you ever saw me answer you back. For those y'all that don't, if you were never in <laughs> if you were never in Yuru or played um, played uh, Mist or. Anyway, it's a it's a it's a Yuru thing. <laughs> it's Shora. It's kind of like Shalom, but in game it's in the game Shora. It's a Shora is the greeting. Um, let's see. Well, we did a bumblebee a couple. I think about a month ago. Remember, I did a bumblebee uh, on the look here. Let me show you the big. <laughs> let me get this out. Hang on. Um, these were bigger. I, I cut some down so they'll be a little smaller. Hang on. Let me unroll some of this. Ah, oh, here he is. Here. Bumblebee. <laughs> There's the bumblebee. Oh, a puffin would be nice. It's, I used to live in Alaska, so we... Um, you know, artists, we painted puffins and, you know, salmons, <laughs> all, the, all the animals. But, yeah, it has been a while since I've done a puffin. Um, yeah, the bee, yeah. <laughs> Astrata, um, yes, the bee. So we did this a couple, maybe about a month ago. And we did some other things. Let's see. Uh, I did this when Hut was on, or when I was on Hut show, I think. We did, um, I did this little rabbit. <laughs> said thanks, Hot. Um, let's see, what else did I do? Oh, here's where we did the vulture with the murder uh, murder hornet. So here's our giant vulture we did. And this is what you do with a, one of those murder hornets. <laughs> These are quite big, guys. These are really big. Let's see. Um, what else do I have here? Here was um uh, uh no uh, why can't I think of what this is? Not a badger. Uh, uh, what, what is anyway, this guy. <laughs> we did this one. And um hi Cindy Lee. I know I'm missing people. Where's my big dog? Oh, here he is. We did this one. We did this one a while back. 
So this is what I'm talking about when I, you know, I sketch them out and then we just throw some paint on it. Well, I say that, you know. Um, but I, I've done so many of these animals that y'all are, are talking about right now. Um, I'm trying to think of where I, uh, where I put them around. I think they're over. Okay, I think I know which uh, portfolio they're in. I move things around all the time. And uh, all right, my daughter's texting me. Hang on. Let's see what she wants here. I'm not sure what this is. Is she growing her own vegetables? Hmm. What is this? Hydro. Oh, 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 some things from her office. Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought she was growing some hydro vegetables or something. Um, a wolverine. So anyway, uh, these are bigger. They're, they were actually, you know, just torn, cut right off of the scroll. Especially this big vulture, you know. I keep these in a roll. These are kind of rolled up because they're so big. So what I did is today I cut down the paper to a manageable size under the camera. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I cut it down to a manageable size. But I don't know. Okay. Dude. All right. While we're sitting here, let's see. I know, and again, if you've been here any length of time, you've probably seen most of these. I'm not going to show all of them, but somebody asked about a squirrel. Mm -hmm. Here was my Halloween squirrel from 2017. Yeah, it's a mummy squirrel. And now this is very apropos with the toilet paper. <laughs> anyway, did that in 2017. And I'm not going to go through all of these because they're not all. And here's another, here's a Christmas squirrel we did in ink. The little squirrel here. So these were some of the Christmas animals. These were in 2016. But these were just uh, some ink on, on some copy paper. Then here's a Hanukkah camel. So for somebody that asked about a camel, um, um, I just do that. Sometimes I make prints of them for giveaways on my uh, super chat thank yous, PayPal thank yous. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes it's weird, uh, Juanita, the, the, it's weird how it, the, um, what do you call it, goes out. The notifications. Sometimes they go out, sometimes they don't. I get a lot of live notifications from people. Sometimes I don't. It's just odd. Okay, here's a beginning. Here's a start of a hedgehog we did. Started this hedgehog there. So, okay, let me turn down the mom and Denise are texting each other. Um, here's this was uh, a deer we did and the holes there is because we poked Christmas lights through Christmas lights um, lit up his horns one year <laughs> so let's see I, I've got this stack upside down so well, here's another there's here's our Christmas moose again um, we had um, Christmas lights poking through the back and lit up the moose I gotta find Mimi. Okay, here was a big rooster thing we did. Again, some of this is so big it's hard to fit under the camera. That's why I cut it down. There's a huge rooster that we did, and uh, stand, standing on another chicken there, but we never got to that one. But anyway, just uh, <laughs> oh, let's see. I want to find Mimi. Mimi and uh, Pedro. This was another Christmas one we did. And again, there's holes in them because we lit up the monkey with the Christmas sweater, the ugly sweater. You know, that ugly sweater. Con anyway, there's uh, the ugly sweater contest. And we lit up with Christmas lights poking from the back. I strung a Christmas, uh, a string of Christmas lights and uh, put them on the table and we picked, we popped them in from the back. Okay, Pacola, Pacola goes, I'll be right back. I've seen all these a hundred times. Um, there's our cardinal with his goldfish slippers. And we just play. We just play, guys. Here's a, there was some kind of a bird there. Uh, we're just, that's not the hummingbird, but there's something there. 
here's another um, fun. We just do this fun stuff, and we do it on the scroll. We do it on the scroll, and it makes it fun. Let's see. Oh, here, the rhino. Here's where I was talking about the Christmas rhino. The Christmas rhino with the painted toenails and the whole candy cane horror and the Christmas ball earrings and lipstick. <laughs> I think I have an angel fish in here too, Kathy. Here's some little, um, these are, I showed how to do a quick little um, goldfish with just a swipe of paint. That's that one. Let's see. Let's see. Put some different shells. Here was a seahorse. This was a stylized one. Let's see. Here, here's the hummingbirds. Somebody was asking about the hummingbirds. Here's the hummingbirds. This one's from 2015. Um, oh, the high kangaroo, babe. There's some hummingbirds and just a little little dogs. Here's parts of. I did um, a show on uh, different parts of uh, of a uh, peacock feather and uh, just different little uh, studies. There's the foot. <clears throat> some ladybugs. Sea turtle. Um, I did do a lionfish, but I think I gave it away. I don't think I have the original. I think I gave the line. Here's Pedro. Pedro the octopus. <laughs> and there's a whole story behind why his name is Pedro. But anyway, there's uh, Pedro the octopus. Um, little emu. There's a little clownfish. Um, I like to see the quick goldfish. Yeah, I did just you just do a swipe with your finger. Oh, let's see. Oh, hang on. A bunch of big. Oh, I did a lot of gigantic calligraphy here. I'm not going to pull all that out. A lot of uh, large calligraphy. We did uh, showed how to do calligraphy with the large uh, nib. I got a lot of that in here. We haven't done calligraphy for a while. Yes, you remember Pedro 3G. Okay, so here's a seed um, seed creature. This was I got this off of a, a map. Um, you know, a vintage map has these creatures on it. And that's like one of those. Let's see. I don't know what else we have in here? We have all kinds of sketches and stuff. So we have this is where we did um, a rubbing of uh, buttons. Here's another giant calligraphy. A lot of this, unless you were there, you're not going to say. You're going to go, "What the heck? What was that all about?" Yeah, wax, ink spots, and I'm looking for Mimi. Mimi's in here. <laughs> Hi, Laura. How's it, how's it going? Uh, let's see. Just going through some of these big sketches that I started drawing a big Yaya Han in there. Uh, I've drawn her face before a couple times. Oh, okay. So here's some Halloween ones. So this was supposed to be Frank and Giraffe. But it turned out to look more like Mo of the Three Stooges. <laughs> but anyway, there is our Frank and Giraffe. <laughs> we did this one year at Halloween. Oh, uh, what else? Oh, yeah, this is one of my favorites. I love this one. Other than Mimi, I love this one. My my blue frogs with the open toed shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is just a bunch of little frog studies and there were blue frogs and uh but look <laughs> oh, uh, oh i'm sorry um uh i get you laura i get you um 
let's make a Dawn. Dawn, I get I get you and the, what's the other? What's her na name? Messy. Not let's uh, let's get messy. And what's the other messy girl? <laughs> what's the other messy girl? I get Dawn and Laura confused. Yeah. What's the other girl's name? I mean, what's the other girl's channel? What's Laura's channel's name? Uh, what is Laura's channel name? I can't remember. I get the two of y'all's channels confused. Anyway, this was so fun to do. This was so fun. I, this is one of my favorites. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Uh, hey, Miss Vicky. Here's some more turtle studies. And again, this is really on the big pieces of paper. I'm not working, going to work quite this big today. But um, this is what we, we, when we sketch on the scroll. Messy, yeah, messy crafter. That's it. I get, let's make a mess and messy crafter. Jersey crafter. Thank you. Jersey crafter, Gail. Jersey crafter. Oh, there's some starfish. Oh, here. Oh, I love this one, too. And they're not really very, they're just, you know, kind of done pretty quick. Well, they're all kind of done pretty quick. But this was even done even quicker. The sugar gliders. We did these sugar gliders not too long ago. Look. Look at, I love the little sugar gliders. They're so fun. They're so cute. I love the sugar gliders. Okay, so, yeah, but you can see how big they are. I'm fold, they're folded over four times. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, here's some slow lorries. And, again, I just start out just sketching them, and then we throw in some paint and whatever. So, yeah. What else do we have? Here's a clownfish. I cut them out. He was on the scroll cut them out and put them on black paper to show you that you show you that you can do that okay see it. so here's one that i show you it was a fail so i was gonna draw a chihuahua and then when i drew the head it was just too big so i tried to draw it smaller and then it didn't look like a chihuahua so finally the third time was a charm the craft paper is just a roll of shipping paper it's just a roll of shipping paper that's all it is the dog. Oh, okay. This is another one of my favorites from Halloween. Count Pugula. Count Pugula with the glitter. <laughs> I love Count Pugula. Okay, so there's Count Pugula. Just a little tree frog. Here was our uh, vampire turtle pumpkin bat. <laughs> Here was a start of a lizard dinosaur or something. So I, wanted, I kept it like this so you could see. So first we sketch it out with just some white, you know, Conti crayon. Then look, this is how we start. Just so, you know, you can say, oh, I don't know how to, look. It's just flat base painted. This is how you start out. Just like this. Then you start painting in the details. And then so here, look at the feet. This is what it started out with, just a plain um, flat acrylic craft paint. And then we would, he smashed something. I don't know what. I forget. <laughs> and uh, so then you start adding the details in. But you start, this is what you got to start with. You got to start with the base. And then you build it up. So, yeah. All right. <laughs> Oh, it's Mimi. Okay, here's Mimi. This is what I wanted to pull this out to show Zippy the other day. I'm going to have to weave Mimi out. So the next time I see Zippy, I'll have to pull Mimi out and say, I found you a date. <laughs> oh, Zippy. Mimi. So if y'all don't remember the old Drew Carey show and uh, Mimi was his secretary, this is Mimi. <laughs> oh my gosh so there is Mimi I love me I'll have to keep Mimi out here I like some of these Halloween ones they need to be on the top so I don't I don't lose those okay what else let's see oh there's just a little panda 
<laughs> yeah, did you like how seeing Zippy? Zippy is a hoot. Zippy is so fun. Oh, here's the peacock's um, head right there. And then this one I did on a, a hut show too, or he went hut visited, or I was on one or the other. Anyway, kangaroo babe was here. And I said, well, what animal would you like me to draw hut? And he saw kangaroo babe's name. He goes, a kangaroo. <laughs> but anyway, so this was a little quick kangaroo. So these are some of the things that we've done on the art scroll over the years. Now I got a big pile of papers. Hang on. Let me kind of stack them up so I don't fall over them. <laughs> All right. All righty. So, all that being said, I cut down some of the shipping paper. I cut it down and I put it in a portfolio to kind of flatten it out. So. <laughs> Oh no, where's my phone? Did I bury my phone? Oh, there. I was gonna say, did I bury my phone in that pile of papers? I love Mimi too. So anyway, oh well, thanks, Ray. They're just sketches that we do here on the show. Um, you write the name on the outside. That's true. She spins. Juanita says, "Here, let me click on her there." <laughs> I should. Yeah. But I just go through them here and there every now and then, you know, I just go through them. And uh, anytime, usually anytime I get out the art scroll, art scroll being just, just, just craft paper, shipping paper, guys. And it's fun to draw big. If you've never drawn big, and this is relatively, relatively small compared to the ones I just showed you. <clears throat> Let me get a sip of my juice here. Um, but it's good practice to draw large and uh so anyway i just kind of said this oh i got did i tweet no i didn't tweet let me tweet real quick i always forget i get to talking to you guys and i forget to tweet so let's go ahead and tweet coffee and art in the morning live I don't know where my little palette went. I'd replace it with somebody with a birthday cake or something. Let me go find my little artist palette. <clears throat> so what did everybody else do over the weekend? Janet, I hope you had a good weekend. Pacola, I think Pacola might be back from getting her tea. Where's the art palette? Where is the little art palette? Hmm. It's always the hardest thing to find because it's not with the pens and pencils. Mm -hmm. I think it's with the hobbies or something. Uh, well, I'll have to do without it today because I'm not finding it. I'm not finding it. Okay, well, I'll just uh, put link in profile. Put a picture up here. I think that one will do. Okay. Um, so Juanita's knitting a sweater, 3G, just said good morning to Flo. Hi, Flo, it's been a while, I haven't seen you. Hi, Anne, I got a little happy mail to show you guys. Um, uh, and a couple, did I, what did I buy? Did I buy something or just got, oh, I got something on order. So I do have something on order. Um, I, I guess I'll tell you what it is, because I think, I don't know if it'll be here. I think it's supposed to be here Wednesday. Um, hi, Kathy. It's supposed to be a Wednesday, but that's not before my show. So, but I did get the new, uh, let me get the other ones out here. Coloring special effects. Let me get them in order here. Okay. So the color of special effects book four is out. And I ordered it, and it's supposed to be here Wednesday. But that doesn't help us for Wednesday show. But it looks like, I'll just show you what it looks like anyway. So everybody loves it when we work in these colorists. Oh, Helen Elliston, and you can follow her on Facebook. Uh, everybody loves it when we work in the um, 
so there's the colorist special effects four. That's what it looks like. So I have it coming in. It should be here Wednesday. So Didi no. Oh, Didi no what? <laughs> Haven't seen it. You ordered it too. It's on the way, Nanamo. So color special effects one, two, and three. And I have four on the way. So what it is is Helen Elliston has done these um, color pencil special effects. And we've worked, I don't know if I have them. I have here. Here's one. So here's one of the uh tutorials that I followed, and we did it step by step. Now, when I follow Helen's um, when I follow Helen step outs, I try to follow, no, Siri, I don't want you. I try to follow her step outs, even though if I was going to try to do this by myself, oh, I enabled you again. Um, uh, I might skip us, you know, skip over cause I can kind of see where she's going. But when we do the step outs, I try to go step by step. And uh, so that you can see how I do it like she did it. And uh, so here's the eye that we did uh, from the step outs here, the realistic eye. Oh, no, Siri, I don't want you. Siri's looking for step outs for me. <laughs> and um, so anyway, what else do we have in here? We did a little droplet i just tried to kind of keep them in here because then when we go back to look at them we have them handy did the big bow we did that at christmas one time what else is in here i don't remember what else we've done in this book we've done some of, we've done some of these jewels but they're not in here i think they're in a sketchbook or something i don't remember where i where we kept them at all i tried to keep them with the book but so that is uh color special effects one here's color special effects two thanks pacola pacola put a link in there and so if you want to uh it'll be a direct link in the chat if the chat shows up I, it's so weird friday's chat did not show up in in the in the replay or in the recording i don't know why and who knows why it's weird, and I've seen other people are saying the same thing, that a lot of the times on their live shows, the chat, it's random too, but a lot of times the uh, chat is not showing up on the replay, and I don't know why. Oh, I forgot to look up a quokka. <laughs> oh, I was going to look up that quokka for... Um, Uh, Helen. Oh, it's cute. It's like a little mouse. Didn't we draw this once, Helen? Pacola? It's like a little gerbil looking thing. It's kind of like a little, it's like a little gerbil thing. <laughs> it looks like a, like, is that an Australian gerbil? <laughs> but anyway, so some of the chats are not, um, going to the recording and i don't know why and uh so anyway then here's color special effects too and again i i did a whole bunch of these but they're not in here so they must be in a sketchbook but we did a bunch no i did them on little cards that's what it was i did them on little cards and i think i gave them away so during the show then color special effects three so anyway i have color special effects four it should be here Wednesday, but that means like at noon Wednesdays when my mail gets here. So as soon as it gets here, I might do a, uh, I might do an impromptu or just do a recording, not a live show. I mean, it'll be live, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but I got number four coming. So let's see. Oh, places. no, 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 Siri. I don't four. want 15 places. Siri said I found 15 places. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh g3 brenda says i need to make an art journal and name it it's all eileen's fault yes of course it put all the list all of your uh list all the supplies eileen made you buy <laughs> i am going to i got another book coming i won't show it to you tell it because that's going to be next week i think uh i have shown you guys some of the books that i've bought on um nature journaling and me and janet have talked about doing it nature journaling where you go out you literally go outside and draw things from nature 
And uh, I mean, of course, you can draw it from books, too. But if you know, the idea is to get you out. Uh, that's the idea. And if we have time and after a while, I'll go pull some of them. But I do have another one coming and uh, on nature journaling. And this one looked really good. So I, I will show that when I get that probably next week. Tracy says she's got the um, color of special effects for ordered. Should be here Sunday. Um, a decon recon. I don't know why. What, what do you mean by that, Helen? I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean by that, Helen. Uh, let's see. I did. A, I have, do have an eagle. I've done a few eagles. <clears throat> I have one that I use um, like on 4th of July or Veterans Day. I have an eagle's big eagle head that I use as my own um, as my own uh, meme. I get memes and gifts. Gifts are moving and memes aren't, right? Is that how it works? <laughs> anyway, I have it that I use all the time. I did an overlay um, in Digi, in Digi where I did an overlay for uh, Veterans Day or, uh, you know, Memorial Day. Um, how, oh, oh, how I deconstruct and reconstructing. Oh, that like that, Hel um, Pecola Helen. A decon recon. <laughs> I didn't know what you're... So a deconstruction reconstruction. And that's good. I like that. Decon Recon, Pecola. I won't put that in the uh, wingnut book because I want to leave it out where I can see it. <laughs> I like that. Oh, my gosh, that's good. Um, a special effect book would be good. Yeah, I probably won't take them apart. I probably won't take those apart because then I, my problem with that is, is then when I want to show the book itself and the and the different uh, uh, projects in it. Then, if I wanted to find one, I'd never find it again. Because when I deconstruct, like Jane's, Jane's is like a little. It's not really a. Um, there are a couple step outs in a couple of her books, but most of hers are like inspiration prompts, pictures, and you know, in her art and stuff. It's easy to put that in a big journal. Which, by the way, I haven't shown that in a while. My Jane Davenport. Uh, I got two now, two Jane Davenport <laughs> deconstructed books, uh, or as Pecola's call them, decon recon. <laughs> but uh, no, I probably won't take those apart. Uh, it, it would be, if I worked in them all the time, Pecola, like if I did a lot of work in those books, it would pay to take them apart and put them in a three ring binder so that I could put my steps, I mean, my drawings in between the steps. I just don't work in them enough. I don't work in her books enough to, um, you know, do that. But I, I do like the idea. Um, okay, so let me show you before we get started drawing. Let me just kind of set this aside. I just put this out here for a thumbnail. And, uh, because I, I will not be using all this stuff. Uh, uh, Janet, I'll probably just, uh, I'll, I'll leave the um, call these three colors of Conti out. And I just put, this is just a box that I got of some, it had some pencils. I don't even remember what it had in it, but I'm just, I use it for my uh, sketching supplies. It's just handy to use as a sketching. Janet loves boxes, so. Okay, uh, let me show you what I'm working on, a couple of things, and then we'll do some sketches here. I did do this, and I did post this on um, Instagram. I finished um, Devin Rex, her little uh, uh, Susie. I finished her little dog for her uh, as a little thank you for making my... Uh, making my zine. I showed this last week. If y'all missed this, go back and watch it. Watch it. Uh, I think it was Monday and Wednesday I showed it. But um, but Devin made me a little zine. And so I just want to thank her. And so I did this little, <laughs> I did her little dog. You know, most of my portraits are just the big face. But her little dog was sitting there so cute. I had to do the whole little body. So I did this for Devin. Let's see if you can see the little face. A little, there we go. 
Uh, so I did this for Devin. It does have a little cut in his tongue. She said uh, that when they got him, he had that or her, that little cut. In the, but I had to put that in there. It's part of her little personality. So that's going out to Devin. I'll be mailing that out to her. Um, then I got a thank you from Ann Jennings, who, uh, for those of y'all that don't don't know, when um, Marie Riri sent those, um, what do you call it, uh, Shannon Green's, oh, what were they called? Um, I have it written down here. Uh, custom Keeper. Shannon Green's Custom Keepers that, I, um, that Marie Riri sent me. Those little ones are about that big, and I gave them both away. Uh, Anne won one. I forget who won the other one. I did them in a giveaway. So Anne Jennings won one, and I forget who won the other one. Maybe, I don't know if y'all remember. I'd have to go look it up. I have it written down, but anyway. But what she did is she sent me, first off, she sent me a $10 Chick-fil-A gift card, and she sent me a picture of her. Look, she already put it together, and I sent the little composition books. The little Now, you got to remember, this right here, guys, is just about that big. This book is very small. It's one of Shannon Green's custom keepers. And then it's got, uh, I sent two of the little um, mini composition books that fit in it. And uh, so look, she already put it together and sent a picture. So thanks, Anne. Thank you for uh, sharing what you did with your custom keeper. And also for sending me a Chick-fil-A gift card. And uh, I know. So anyway, she sent a nice little note here. Dear Dee, your kindness means the world to me. Thank you for the giveaway. I set up my custom keeper while I washi taped the edges. Now I have my own Society of Idea Collector journal. I love it. Thank you for your inspiration and sharing your talents. God bless Ann Jennings. So I love the little that she sent a picture. Hi, Faithful Mess and Faithful Mess. Um, she was doing her, um, she was doing some more of her, her, uh, washi tape. Do you still have some? Can I, uh, can I promote it faithful or do you have any left? This was like a week and a half or so ago. Faithful mess was putting together some more washi tape books, but I think, um, I don't know if she has any more, but if she does. So anyway, Anne, thank you so much for sharing your, your picture and look how cool that looks and again guys you have to imagine this is a little book about that big it's just a, it's just a little custom keeper so look at how much she's packed in there <laughs> so thank you so much and for the uh, for the gift card and for that and i'll this will go i'll put this in uh an ann jennings fibs page in the fibs book so that'll go in in the fibs book Let's see, what else have I got going on? Um, oh, yeah, and so Pacola put a link to Faithful Mess's Etsy shop there. Okay, so Faithful Mess, let's go ahead and click on her. She has a new discount code when you purchase two items, FFM40. So... Uh, Faithful makes these little washi tape books. Now, she, as, as last I heard, she does not ship international. So it, you have to be in the U.S. But she makes these washi tape books, and she makes them out of the photo albums, the little mini photo albums. Well, I say mini, you know, it's pretty big. And she does washi tape on all the pages like washi tape samples. So she's got it wrapped around like, you know, one full time around. So you have a washi tape sample book. And she sells these in her Etsy shop. And she, I know she had said last, well, it was a week and a half ago or something, that she had some new ones. And I said, well, I'll promote them on the show if you have any left by the time I get to it. So anyway, if you like washi tape and a variety and you want just samples and a variety of kinds. Now, you won't get these exact ones, obviously. She'll have all different ones. But uh, I just want to... Uh, Send you all over to Faithful Mess's Etsy shop. And I do have happy mail here from Faithful Mess, too, I'm going to show. So, yeah. So, look. it's That's a lot of washi tape. So, y'all use that discount code and go over to Faithful Mess. That's with two L's. I spelled her name wrong in the, in the Fibs book. Spelt it with one L, but it's Faithful Mess. And I just call her Our Faithful Mess because <laughs> she's Our Faithful Mess. We love Our Faithful Mess. And then she sent me, and I had, let me see, I had a post-it on here. 
Um, so this is the pack. She, I've covered up the uh, addresses, but she sent these two that she said, I hope it brings some joy to you. Oh, hi, Dee Dee. I found the clock book on vacation. I forgot to include it in the last time that she sent me happy mail. The cat book is to cut up. I hope it brings you some joy to your day. Love to all the fibs, Faith. And so she sent me a little golden book. <laughs> uh, and if y'all, if y'all have never made, um, oh, look, I didn't see this in here. I guess when I opened it up, uh, shy little kitten, butterflies, country kitchen, vintage florals, reptiles, trees, mushrooms, uh, do unto animals, decoy ducks. Um, but, you know, if you've never made a journal, if you've never made a journal out of one of these, if you don't want to cut up a golden book, you can make it into a journal, like a reverse collage. You can white out the things or you can leave some words uh, or you can cut it up and use the little images, too. So she sent me the, the shy little kitten golden book and then clocks and watches. So thank you so much, Faithful. Um, do you have a name? You Oh, that's Flo. Um, so this one is clocks and watches and I love just everything. You all know, I love time. I love the element of time in all my artwork. Well, most of it, I can't say all, but she sent me these watches and clocks and y'all know I will cut this up. <laughs> Don't email me. And, uh, so from the British, what's the ones that are in the British museum. So thank you so much. And I'll keep my little note here. And I want to do so. I want to somehow maybe take a picture of this because I just love, <laughs> I just love the, uh, look how she decorates her envelopes. And if y'all don't follow Faithful Mess over on YouTube, she uh, shows a lot of giveaways and she has chill streams and it's just follow, fa follow Faithful Mess on YouTube and her Etsy shop. Um, Gail, they come in when they want. Gail says she misses seeing my cats. Yeah, they come in when they feel like it. <laughs> and they usually jump right up here and flop themselves down right on our artwork. So they may or may not come in. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, thank you, Faithful Mess. Thank you for sharing and and uh, yeah, we like to shout out. We like to shout out our our friends in the box. All right, so let's see. Uh, what else? Um, I think I'll save that for later so we can get started. So what I did is these are just um, pieces of the art scroll. And when I say the art scroll, it's just shipping paper, guys. Shipping paper that you can get for $3.00. Four dollars, depending on where you buy it, I guess. But it's just a roll of of craft color paper, and you can cut these up to any size you want. I cut them down to this size and folded them in half. So um, that's just the size I cut them down to. I put them in a portfolio to kind of flatten them out. But I have rolls of this stuff. Uh, let's see. We lost a little. Let me get this a little. We got lost a little bit of light with the other project. Let's see here. There we go. So I just thought we would do some drawing. So, yeah, it's her YouTube channel. If you just look up Faithful Mess, you'll find her. And there's her Etsy shop. Thank you, Pacola. And again, it's a direct link in the show, but uh, you can't, uh, I can't, uh, you can't link it from the, you know. Let's see, Devin. Oh, Devin Rex, thank you. Oh, yeah, I showed it. I showed it a little a minute ago. Um, I showed your Lucy a minute ago. <laughs> oh, face. So sweet. Anyway, so thank you uh, again, Devin Rex, for the um, for the awesome zine. The awesome zine. I love it. I know. Pacola said it. You know, Yolanda, well, I call her um, Devin Rex, but her name's Yolanda. She doesn't make a secret of it. But uh, I try my best to use the names that y'all have. Like Pacola, everybody knows her name's Helen. But, you know, that way when I'm talking about somebody and someone doesn't know them, they'll know who I'm talking about. Uh, if I call, I said, oh, Yolanda. 
thank you for the zine. And nobody knows that Devin Rex is Yolanda, except, you know, unless you know her from here or another stream. Um, let's see. What else? Hi, Ashley. All right. So I think I might just start, um, might just start with some little sketches of a, let me go over here to my iPad. Uh, I did pick a couple animals out like, um, the, uh, red, the red panda. I love the red pandas. I do have a big poster that I made of the red pandas. I'm not sure if I could find it like quick but uh i'm looking around i don't know if i can find my red pen let's see. Ooh. don't know if it's in this portfolio or the big one let's see hang on <clears throat> have a few here it is i have a few uh portfolios one or two <laughs> anyway here's a red panda poster that i did this uh, this is at least oh i don't know it's it's old this is quite old but anyway he's got his little steampunk claw hand and there's a little gateway between him and uh so there's this there's this red panda that i did with the little uh beard tie <laughs> it's a little flashed out because of the lighting but anyway i did this one um, these are smaller posters, and these are kind of a little older. There's a, another one. Here's a few of them here, let's see, that are collage. Here's a, here's a space squirrel. <laughs> here's, a, here's a fox with earbuds. Somebody was asking about a fox. Um, I might, maybe I'll make this fox into a print for you guys. Um, here's another bunny. When pigs fly, here's my camel looking toward the weekend, looking toward the weekend camel. Here's my space otter sea, which Lisa Scott named. This one was on the cover of a uh, e-magazine, the heart magazine. So there's that one. And this one, of course, y'all will probably recognize, um, my lemur. This is this part right here is the banner head on my uh, on my uh, YouTube channel. This one's called the lemur has landed, and then just some different ones. There's a giraffe with a little city in the eye. There's a little city in there. Um, let's see what else. This one is uh, is one of my. Uh, you can look at it either way, upside down or right side up. So it goes this way or it goes this way. And I sign it both ways because it can go either way. So this is one of my reversibles. Um, what else is here? Here's a couple that I'm working on that are not done. This one I'm still working on. This one I'm still working on. And then here's my four horses, the apocalypse. Um, there's there's my version of it on a on a chessboard there. So yeah, so there we go. So those are just some of my. These are the some of the smaller ones. Uh, so okay. Oh, did I just throw? Oh, I just threw my paper over there. Hang on. <laughs> I picked up all my papers with it. <laughs> so I showed that. Those were my <coughs> my red panda. I need some bugs in space. No, that looks like a swarm attacking. I don't know, maybe. Okay, so let's see. Um, do I just want to draw a few? Do I just want to draw a few studies first? Do I want to draw a face? Do I want to draw? And I'm just going to sketch and play for a few minutes until I just kind of decide what we're going to do. So, uh, but anyway, it's fun to draw big <clears throat> if you've never drawn really big before. And again, I'm, this is, I'm kind of, <coughs> I'm drawing smaller here than I normally do. I'm just thinking, do I want to do a whole body? 
do I want to do one walking? Do I want to draw a face? Because if I draw a face, you'll see it. You know, if I just do little sketches like this, you can't, I could zoom in, but when I'm painting on it, geese are flocking. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Roblox, Anna, uh, Terry. <coughs> I said how to flow. Anybody else I'm missing? Maybe I'll just go to a face. Let's see. Here's one that has his little mouth open. That's kind of cute. Here's another one. This one's kind of cute too. This one kind of looks like a baby one. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe I'll just, I don't know. Do I just want to do a face? <clears throat> so um, anyway, uh, I the like I said, the other book that I have coming is a, um, hang on, let me make this a little bigger. Uh, the other thing I have coming is the, nature uh drawing nature books and i have like claudia nice i can't that uh, hannah henchman i'm trying to think of some of the other um some of the other nature like outdoor nature um what do you call it artists that do nature drawings and stuff you know like plants trees and then you you write notes about what you've seen. Now I'm wondering if you ever painted Yisha. I did, Linda. I painted all of the characters, and I I looked I looked for my book because back in the day, for those y'all don't know, if you never played Yuru, I'll keep I'll try to keep uh, working here while I'm talking. Um, oh, Devin, Devin, you did not have to do that, girl, girl. <laughs> Devin, thank you so much, Devin, for the super chat. You are so sweet. You did not have to do that. I appreciate that so much, though. You're so kind. You did not have to do that, but thank you. And Lucy will be going out probably tomorrow because tomorrow Tuesday, I you know I can get to the post office. Thank you so much, Devin. I I appreciate that so much. Very thoughtful. I know, right? Flo goes. How kind. How kind, Devin. And hi, uh, let's see, Gail. Let's see, Pacola. Uh, I try to click on some of these. <laughs> I know, so sweet. Thank you, Devin. Do, I know I didn't have to, but I wanted to. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the super chat. <clears throat> thank you. And I hope you like Lucy when you get her. Let's see here. Linda says, oh, she's asking about Yisha. Um, so if y'all have never played Yuru or um, Mist, Riven, any of those games, uh, they were computer games. And then they did uh, they did some remakes and they put some on Steam and uh, some other, other um, uh, Cyan um, games. But anyway... Um, <laughs> I did draw Yisha, and I do have a whole book of avatars. I could not find them. I'm looking up on my shelf up here because it has to be up on that shelf. It's a whole book. I drew all the avatars, hundreds of them. Well, I'll say a hundred, maybe over a hundred of the avatars <laughs> during that time. I was like, you know, the artist in the cavern. And uh, we need to talk about the people that we knew back then. So, yeah, Linda, Linda, someday I will find that book. It's a whole, it's like in a three ring binder. I put them all in a three ring binder of, um, of avatar drawings that I did. And I just drew them at like fan art and I drew all the book stations I drew all kinds of things from in the cavern, all the mechanicals. I, I have a whole book of Yuru that I drew, but I, I don't know where it is. I'm really going to have to make the effort to dig it out and find my book of Yuru. So, all right. So let's see here. I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of sketching it out because I want to get out the paint. I'm going to just get out craft paint and, uh, and, uh, you know, painted in here 
Let's see, you got little little cheer, little lips there like that. A little. <clears throat> I like a big fluffy. I like their big heads to be nice, big, and fluffy. And what's nice about drawing the Conti crayon, you can erase if you want to. Oh, let's see here. Let me find, let me find one of my needed erasers. I'm going to put it away in the. Uh, I'm going to put my kneaded eraser in the, uh, what do you call it, pan pastel thing. So I probably put it away. Let me find another eraser here. I know I got some erasers around here somewhere. Well, I thought I did. Oh, here we go. I think I put my kneaded eraser in the, uh, pan pastel box <clears throat> where's my so you can erase uh erase uh the conti crayon all right let's see lost all the names so long ago yeah it's like yeah i think it did it shut down 2004 live i think it shut down 2004 was it that long ago it might have been 2004 when the, we played it for a couple of years. They were trying to, and, and eventually it did sort of go live with, and then they had uh, people with private servers that tried to keep it alive. But you have to remember, this was like, wasn't it even before WoW World of War? I mean, I think this is old and it was just so innovative to be able to have your characters and make your own live avatars in person at that time. It was very innovative. It was very innovative. <laughs> right, Linda? Uh, so I'm just going to do his little face here. And, of course, he has these long whiskers and stuff. I don't want to put those in yet because I'm just going to paint over them. And, uh, yeah. So something like this, just a little red panda. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Did anybody else play Yuru or do y'all ever play Mist back in the day or Riven? I don't know. Um, Linda, I think I showed you this last time. Let's see if I can find it real quick on IG. Um, <laughs> let me go to my IG because I posted a picture of it some time ago, but I don't remember how long. I'm going to have to scroll way back because it's a long time ago when I posted this. So let's just see... No, M Y S T, yeah, M Y S T or Riven, and uh, but Yuru was like the live online spinoff of those games. You still play WoW? She spins. How long do you remember when WoW went on uh, on a lot like uh, online? What year? Because I never played it. Um, Juanita, why is my not? I think I need a new phone. That's all I. I think I'm. I'm got to get. I'm gonna have to. Uh, and the new, the newer iPhone, whatever they're now, the three, with the three cameras on them, they're half price. I need to go get one. Well, they're half price. Hang on, guys. I'm, I'm scrolling back. I'm trying to find my um, picture here while I'm reading chat at the same time. Weren't in those kind of games, Gail. Uh, well, the thing about Mist and Yuru and all them, they are there's they were puzzle solving games. You got together with other people, um, live. You know, <laughs> if you want to call yourself live, um, with your avatar, and you solve puzzles together. And it had a chat room. It had a chat, um, a chat room, and everybody had um, their 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 watches where you could uh, talk to each other on not literal watches in the show in the in the game, and that's and it was really innovative back then where everybody could have their own uh, watch, and uh, some people called it key, some people called it the ki, 
but um, you could talk to each other with your watch in, I'm still scrolling here through Instagram, uh, in the game. It was just so innovative for the time. I'm trying to read. Uh, Linda played Matrix. A lot of Yuru people with a lot of you. Okay. After Yuru and we all jumped off that cliff on the last day, it was like, yeah, it never was the same again. Never was the same again, <laughs> Linda. Oh, but let me make a note to look for my Yuru binder. I will for Linda. I will write this down, Linda, to look for the Yuru binder. Okay, hang on, guys. We do rabbit trails here. Just stay calm. I'm still flipping through my Instagram. Look at that picture. I don't want to go get all my my uh, cyan products. Oh, here I found it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This was a hardcore Miss Yuru Riven fan right here. <laughs> Linda, look. There's all my games. There's the cart. There's the um, the the DVDs and all the all the game the game uh, what do you call it uh you know all the books <laughs> there's the two books actually have the, the novels uh, but anyway so yeah there's my missed Yuru <laughs> you don't have that much yeah I had everything missed Riven Yuru. I don't know. I don't even know if this was all of it. And then I kept binders of notes on solving all the puzzles. And I played the, I mean, I don't even know how many times we had played through the game where, and you, you know, to beat the game and you play it with other people. So you're playing together. You're helping new people. I have a whole book full of all the sol solving all the puzzles, all the notes, all the clues, all the codes, everything. <laughs> I tell you, I was uh, I was into it. Yeah, <laughs> you lost all your notes. Oh, Linda. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Well, see, and mine were already gro grown of uh, flow. <laughs> I didn't have I didn't have kids around. Um, uh, in the in the house, living in the house. So yeah. Okay, so let's see here. Let's uh, let's just to get out some paint and paint our little um. Let's paint on our little uh, red panda here. All right, so let me get a tray. Let's get a clean one. And I just put my uh, craft paint out on coffee lids. And I don't, I don't keep these, but some people like to keep the uh, acrylic skins for uh, craft projects. So if you put your, um, I don't think there's enough on this one to really pull. After they build up the layers, you can pull these. Uh, acrylic skins right off of the plastic and then you flip them over and they're really cool uh, I don't have time to really play with these anymore but you can do that and um, the more you build up the prettier the colors are inside <laughs> or underneath hi Galena okay so let's see let's just get a fresh one here and let's see what colors do I want to get Okay, let's get some black, white. We'll get crackle lack in here. <clears throat> and let's see some yellow ochre. Some really bright orange. Let's go with some nice bright orange for this baby. And some sienna. Sienna, sienna, sienna. Or some Georgia clay here. Sienna-esque. <laughs> we all use paint skins in our scavenger hunt journals this year. Oh, okay, Julie Topaz. And a dark brown. Dark brown. I don't think a, mm, maroon's too. Let's go with the brown. Let's see. Um, all right, those colors that should be enough. Get a couple baby wipes. Let's 
So again, if if y'all did anything interesting over the weekend, um, anything creative or fun or anything y'all went classes? Where's Eileen in, in her classes? <laughs> uh, did she? Uh, Eileen doesn't usually get here early anymore. I don't know why. All right, so let's see. Let's get a brush or two. Let's get a couple brushes. A small one, a small flat. Oh, a little bigger. Some of these are... I just buy cheap craft brushes for the most part. I have a few zebras in here that, I, you know, were, got them off the jet pens. They're a little nicer. But uh, for the most part, they're just craft brushes. Uh, I have a nice little flat one I've been using, but I think it's in this one. It's in this big one. Uh, I got tons of brushes, and I brought, buy them all the time when they're on clearance or when I get a 40% off coupon. So, but I'm, I have a little flat that I was using. Did, oh, maybe it's sitting over here. Oh, here it is. Okay. Okay. All right. There we go. <laughs> uh, thanks, guys, for the thumbs up. Uh, okay, so let's see. Uh, Faithful Mass had a stream a thon on her. Oh, yeah, and I was going to click on over there and say happy birthday to you, too, Faithful Mass. Happy birthday back at you. And you made happy mail for 26 subbies? Oh, my gosh, Faithful Mass. That is a lot of happy mail. Girl, I can I can do a happy mail. I can do that much. I can do about 50 happy mails in a day, like spend the whole day. But I don't do it on camera. I'd never get it done. Look, look how I don't get anything done. I don't get anything done. Because <laughs> I'm so talking to you guys. That's why it's a chat show. Don't email me. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's base him in. Let's go with the small. I'm going to go with the small brush here and just get his eyes blacked in. Let me, let's see. Maybe I should click in one or two. There we go. That's pretty good. <clears throat> and we'll just play with this little panda here. Yeah, I meant to click over there and say happy birthday to you, Faithful. So happy birthday. Do you want me to draw, what do you want me to draw an animal for you? What animal would you like? I'm just blocking in. See, then the thing about acrylic paint, guys, don't forget. The thing about acrylic paints is pencil loves acrylic paint. Color pencil will go over your paint. I'm just going to block this in. Let's get that a little gray. I should have just put out some gray, but I'll just mix my own little bit of gray. <laughs> oh, Ashley says she had a great time at your birthday streamathon. Your spirit animal is a tree frog. Oh, okay. Well, I think yeah. Uh, I'll I'll write it down. What co what color do you like? The green ones, the green tree frogs that have the white stomach, faithful. Because I think I drew that one not too long ago, but that's okay. Are you talking about the green ones? With like the kind of cream yellow stomachs. Hi, Kenny. How you doing? Waiting, waiting for her to answer. And don't be. I hope you're not driving. Faithful <laughs> screen. Okay. Uh, I hope you're not. Don't be driving because sometimes uh, she's driving back and forth to her job. Okay. So let's see. All right. You gotta make them cute. <laughs> and they have this little, I mean, in my other one that I drew of these or painted, he has a little uh, the little beard, the little beard with the uh, 
I put a tie in it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, we'll, we'll get them started there. Give them a little life. So I know people don't like it when they don't have eyes. Uh, Faithfulness, I used to have a tree frog named Jupiter. My only paint I ever had broke my heart when he died. When, when you were like a kid, Faithfulness? Hi, Candy. Oh, Lucy. Oh, that's cute, <laughs> Julie. That's cute. Uh-oh. Anyway. All right, so let's see. Let's put um, Let's put this really dark brown up underneath here. I'll move to a little bit bigger brush. So anyway, guys, the thing about doing these, I, I like to inspire you guys to pull out, you know, some craft paper. It's so easy, you know, the craft paper and craft paints. And uh, <clears throat> and do some drawing and painting on because it's just so it's just so fun and easy. Oh, you're in your mid oh, oh faithful. You never had a pet growing up? Oh my gosh, bless your heart. How could you not have a pet growing up? Of course, you know, it was hard for us to have pets too moving around in the military. But we that's why we usually had cats. We usually had cats. Okay, so a little that's gonna be a little wider there, I think. Just kind of blocking it in. Looks like a little orange teddy bear is what they look like. Big round heads. <laughs> Kenny said, I was so mad. I had a doctor's appointment on Friday. Said, I know, isn't Zippy hilarious? Oh my gosh, guys. If y'all, seriously, if y'all did not watch Friday's show with Zippy the, <clears throat> Zippy the Unicorn, Please go watch it. If you just need a smile on your face and you want to laugh, Zippy is a hoot. Even Hubster said, I, I hope you're going to have Zippy. Hope you're going to have Zippy back on the show. He was hilarious. I said, Oh, I will if he wants to come back on. He is so funny. And, uh, and I said earlier, my mom, my mom uh, goes, I watched your show. I watched your show on Friday. I already said this, but you know, some of y'all have come in since then. She goes, I didn't get it. <laughs> what was that, a unicorn? What? Because she's used to seeing me do drawing and painting and all that. <laughs> and here comes a unicorn cracking jokes. I said, Mom, it's just a comedian. It's a, it, was a, it was a comedy show. Oh, okay. <laughs> but Hubster loved it. He goes, I hope you have Zippy back on. I go, I will. <laughs> Uh, hi, CB. Let's see. J Ashley goes, I was done. <laughs> I know. It was hilarious. Yes. Well, I, I was hoping, you know, it, well, yeah, but that's what, the, what was the point of it. It was supposed to be the Zippy Takeover show. But, you know, I, try, I tried to kind of let him take over, but I wanted to give him something to bounce off of so i would show art and you know my monsters or something you know i wanted something for him to bounce off of but he didn't need much help he did not need much help <laughs> all right so let's see let's get the little might make his eyes just a little bit bigger, too. So this is a nice base here. We'll, we can add more detail, but you got to have the underpainting. Got to have the underpainting on before you can put detail on there. 
Oh, it's been all that much red in there. Whoops. <clears throat> Let me get that red out of there. I want this to be really white in the end. It's a little face. So I'm glad y'all enjoyed Zippy because I sure did. I enjoyed having Zippy on. It's just so fun sometimes just to laugh and laugh and laugh. And that's what we did. <laughs> Oh. Uh, I know, right, Bacola? Oh, my gosh. I know. All right, we're going to try to get some little stuff going here. So again, guys, it's just like a roll of shipping paper. So you can, uh, it's really inexpensive to play on this stuff. And you can make it, you can make it more realistic. You can make it more not. You just, you know, have fun with it. And, you know, the paint I'm putting on is pretty, I'm putting it on, it's thick. So you can do lo lots of layers over it and stuff. Let's do a little lighter brown. Let's do some brown in the end. Let's do a little bit darker. Dee Dee, is there really a difference between workable and final fix it? Um, what I find the most different is the smell. The final fixative seems to smell less. So I just roll with the final fixative. I don't need a workable one because when I spray something, I want it to be final, right? Regardless of when in the process that I spray it, I, I would just recommend going with the final fixative. If you're not doing graphite portraits or graphite drawings where you might need to erase after, see, that's the other thing, the final fixative. But even with the workable fixative, you may not be able to erase as much as you think or hope you can. So I just make sure everything's erased, little highlights or anything that I need before I hit it with the final fixative. But make sure you get matte. I showed y'all I accidentally bought some gloss when I went to get some new get some new um, fixative, and I accidentally bought the uh, gloss, and I can't can't use that not on your portraits. I'm not even sure where you'd use the gloss fixative on. I wouldn't, I never would have purposely bought that, but I have it now. I don't, I don't know, you know, but uh, yeah. But I would just roll with the, just roll with the uh, final fixative. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Devin. Yeah. It was funny. So when I was showing, I was, you know, because I had um, Lucy out. She wasn't, she, her, just her face was, you know, pretty finished, but her body wasn't finished when I, when Zippy was here. And I, this is what I'd planned to just, if I didn't have anything to do when Zippy was here, like, right, um, I would work on Lucy. So I said, well, the reason I was doing Lucy was because Devin had made, and I read, I reread Devin's little zine that she made. And uh, Zippy goes, Devin has too much, too much time on her hands. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, um, well, Janet, Janet Drew, let me see. Uh, she, if you don't follow, I want to get this in my paint there. Janet, uh, I'll show you what Janet Drew. She did finish. Um, if that's what you're talking about, let me go find it for you. Um, let me go to my photos. Hang on. Janet did finish drawing, and she posted this on Twitter. If you follow Janet on Twitter, oh man, well, good grief. She uh, posted. <laughs> she drew Zippy smoking a cigar gold chain, chest hairs. So Janet did finish this. 
She did finish drawing Zippy later and posted it on uh, Twitter. <laughs> it's on Twitter, Julie. Uh, <laughs> there it is. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so, and Janet did say she said, yeah, she posted it to Zippy. And then, then Zippy, what, you know, when I was showing my monsters, let me go back to my photos. When I was showing my movie monsters, you know, I was showing my um, Frankenstein. This is what I posted for Zippy. Um, I showed my Frankenstein. I had two versions of my movie monster Frankenstein. One had tall spikes in his hair and the other had short spikes. And Zippy goes, oh, that's the more conservative. If he had a tie on, he could go apply for a job. Well, I took my Frank and I added some big, a big black collar and I put, I got some, some, I had some scrapbook paper of unicorns. <laughs> so I made a tie. I made a tie out of the unicorns. And I, so I posted that for Zippy. I said, Frank's going to get that job. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got a stitch in my side from laughing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, let me make his little eyes just a little bigger, I think. Uh oh, I gotta clean these brushes up. They're gonna crust stuff on me. You gotta, you know, I, I do wipe them down on a baby wipe as I'm using them, but these sometimes these little tiny brushes, you gotta rinse, you do gotta rinse them out every now and then because they will get crusty. So yeah, but it was a fun show. I, I hope y'all enjoyed that. I want to have more guests on, more impromptu shows with guests. But that that's Zippy. He said, I wanted to be the first guest other than Janet. When Janet and I did a lot of testing with, you know, StreamYard. Zippy goes, I want to be the first guest on your show because, you know, it's all downhill after that. <laughs> oh. It was so fun. We had a lot of fun. Okay. All right. So I want to get those little eyeballs in there. And I'll get some little shading and some highlight, better highlights. I want that highlight to be more. <clears throat> uh, see, now I've got all kinds of stuff on my paper here. Um, that it, but it was. It was, it was a hoot. Okay, so this is real thick. It's going to take a minute to dry, or I will have to hit it with the heat gun. Or, let me see. Let me clean this brush out. Janet, did you hear me talking about that I got another book coming? Uh, well, other than the Colorist 4, which is the color, the uh, Helen Elliston's uh, Colorist Special Effects 4. But I have a new, um, I have a new nature, journaling nature book coming. But if y'all, in a little while, if y'all want, I will pull some of my journaling, uh, nature journaling, nature journaling uh, books out that I already have. Of course, I had to buy another one, you know. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of fiddle here. And I'll put some. I'll put some of the longer hairs with uh, color pencil. All right. So let's go back down to the red or color. <laughs> you like this little triangle eyebrows, Devin? Yeah. If y'all, you know, if there's any time I do any of these and y'all like them, I can make prints of them to thank you guys for the super chats and the uh, and the uh, PayPal tip jars. I, I, I don't I don't mind doing the, you know that because I know y'all like it and so it's something I can thank you guys with. So just let me know, you know, leave it in the comments or email me. And when I say don't email me, y'all know what I mean. Y'all know I mean like don't leave me. You know, you're too chatty. Well, it's a chat show, but y'all talk so much. I know it's a chat show. Well, why do y'all talk so much? Because it's a chat show. 
guys, I'm telling you, people, you get that stuff. You really do. You just got to roll with it. You got to roll with it. Just laugh. Yes, it's a red panda groon. Yes, ahoy, matey. <laughs> Yes, it is a red panda. <laughs> more, and you know, some days we talk more, some days we have more rabbit trails, but it's it's about, you know, having some fun. There's so much, you know, going on in the world, and sometimes you just want to have some fun, some laughs, you know, you have your zippies on, and, and just enjoy it, you know, if y'all want to talk you know, politics, religion, serious stuff. You, you can find me on Twitter and uh, Facebook. I'm over there, you know, I'll argue with you, <laughs> just like anybody else, but uh, not here on the show. My show is uh, to have, you know, no, we're not, we're not being uh, political. We're not being any of that here. So everybody's welcome as long as you, you know, as long as you're not, being doing all that stuff too because that's we can do that other places um let's see all right let's see i think i'm gonna uh, well let me let me clean i don't need to clean my brush yet i'm gonna put a little bit more color and then we'll put more detail after i uh after this dries, and we'll go in here with pencil. Try to get as much in here with paint as I can. Base, base painting. And I'm taking my time. This is something I like to do to enjoy it. And then sometimes we'll ask you guys, I'll say, well, what do you want this character to be doing? And that's where we get the Mimi's. If y'all missed Mimi at any point, <laughs> that's when we do. The Mimi's. <laughs> uh, our Halloween. And Halloween is when we do most of our fun animals. We have them doing fun things. I mean, like we could make this uh, red panda a pirate. You know, you, there's just lots of things you can do. The Poirot lobsters failed. That went in the trash, Devin. <laughs> and by the way, you know, speaking of Devin, if y'all don't follow her, she does some fun uh, YouTube channel shows. So follow Devin on Instagram and on YouTube. She has some fun art. And uh, she's just kind of, I'm not going to say she's humble, but and I'm not going to say she's shy. But follow, follow our, our Devin, Devin Rex. Uh, hi, a little creative. I said hi to CB. All right, so let's just put a little more. A little more fur color here. And their little bodies seem kind of small. Like his little body would be about this wide compared. They have these big heads, you know. <clears throat> All right, let me uh, get me a little bit of tan color over here. That's not wide enough. Hi, Kathy Berg. Anybody else I missed? We're just playing on the art scroll today. All right. I think I have enough down that I can dry this, and then we can go in here with some pencil. Let's go ahead and put some fur in here. We'll go ahead and put some fur with the color.
we could make up a story about him. Y'all want to y'all want to make a story up about him? Y'all in the mood for that today? You got to kind of be in the mood. Got to be in kind of in the mood to be to write, you know, or tell stories. Usually when I'm on the show, I'm in the art mood, in the art zone. <laughs> I'm in the art zone. And you guys make the the story fun. Because I have to watch chat too when we do that. <clears throat> you know? And oh my gosh, guys, I don't know if y'all remember when I did Lena's Roadrunner in the boots? I had to fold it up to send to Denmark, right? So let me see if I can find it real quick. I think she posted it on on Twitter. Maybe maybe Twitter or Twitter. Let me go to Twitter. Let me go to her. Let me find Lena and let me find her messenger. I mean, her uh, media. Lena. Okay, there she is. Let me look in her media. So anyway, I did her that funny, funny roadrunner with boots. And I had to roll. I mean, I had to fold it up to send to Denmark because it was big. It was bigger than this. And um, she framed it. I thought, oh, my gosh, Lena, I, I hated that I even had to fold it. But she finally got it. it took like a month to get there. I don't know if she has it in her she have it in her media here i think i've gone far too far back oh there it is oh well that's not where she has it okay well here's what it looks like she got it when she got look at all those folds because this thing was huge it was like two feet big and i don't mean two feet big because <laughs> i put her in a in a converse high tops <laughs> but she framed it I don't know if she posted that, though. I, I mean, she showed it to me, but I don't know if I can find. But she had it hanging on her wall, and it was all wrinkled. And I thought, oh, Lena, I'm sorry. I had to fold it so much. Oh, there it is. So look. Look at it. She framed it. Oh, my gosh. That girl. Girl, look at that. She put the little card in there, too. It was so cute. She put in this big poster frame. It was so cute. Oh, thanks, Nanamo. You like this little bear? Okay. <laughs> but I thought that was so cute of Lena. All right, let me hit this with the heat gun. Now, if this is why you need a, a, a desk journal. Some kind of journal where you can use this up and scrape it, pick it up with a palette mm -hmm. knife and scrape it into a, some kind of a composition book, a traveler's notebook, one of your art journals that you just throw stuff in because you don't want to waste all this. You can scrape this up, scrape it into a journal, and then use it as a background for another project, which I might do. We'll see how much I use it. All right, let me, uh, let me dry this. Maybe she could have ironed it. I don't know if it would have ironed. Would it have ironed out on that on this paper? Maybe. Maybe she just liked it wrinkled. I don't know. And you really have to have this 100% dry before you start going in there with pencil. Okay, so let me get some pencils here. Move this paint to the side. Let's see, I'm gonna get a couple of browns and a gray. And... Get a yellow ochre, an orange. Set this in. Let's sharpen. 
the orange, let's see. All right, and that might be enough with with black and white. Let's get a white and a black. We'll see what we do here. I might need some more colors, but all right, get a pencil sharpener. Let me sharpen these real quick. Remember, if y'all have any questions, put them in caps. And um, yeah, talk about y'all talk about what y'all are working on. Again, guys, you are free to you know don't just come here just to spam, but you know if, you, if you're a a regular here you sub to the channel at least sub to the channel you can talk about your shows your classes and classes you're taking that you know doesn't have to be something i'm teaching you showing you um all right i think those colors that might be enough colors we'll see what did devin say woohoo winner I missed it. Okay, we'll keep rolling. Linda says I'm working on some coffee dye for Emily. Do, do you have a do you do YouTube videos, Linda? I can't remember. Or do I just see do I just see you on IG? I don't remember. I don't remember. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Let's go up here in his little ears. We'll start up at the top. <clears throat> I think I'll, no, you know what? I think I'll do Posca. Get some nice bright white little hairs on the ends. Let's make sure it's working. Okay, Jane, thank you for stopping in. Try to drop in and lurk again. Oh, well, we love it. We love our lurkers. Feel free to lurk. I, I'm a lurker at other people's channels too, so I, I don't mind lurkers. Not at all. Hopefully, you know, it, it's, you know, if you're getting some entertainment, some ideas, some inspiration, it doesn't matter if you're here or not. Although when you talk to the chat, the fibs, the friends in the box, when you talk to everybody, you make friends and everybody here is real friendly. My mods make you stay friendly. <laughs> you, you, will, you stay friendly if you're here because my mods will make you stay friendly. Oh my goodness. No, but seriously, everybody here is pretty pretty nice. And usually if they're here and they're nice to you here, their channels are going to be nice and you'll have fun at their channels as well. Cuz a lot of people that come here have their own channels. So if you um if you have fun here, you'll have fun at their channels too. <clears throat> Is your name, uh, Linda, do you have a, I don't live stream for a long time. So Friday will be the first time that you, you are going to live stream. Okay. Is your name? Yeah. What's your name? The uh, One of the girls will, <laughs> will link your channel, Linda. Tell them your, tell them your channel name. Janet says, <laughs> Janet. And don't forget guys, Janet streams at one Eastern. I don't know what she's going to do. Sometimes she doesn't know what she's going to do. <laughs> and Faithful Mess says, I've been lurking more and more these past months due to working at home with Kiyo's house. Yeah. Yeah, we all need the kids to go back to school, right? Especially, you know, if you get trolled, you want those kids to go back to school. <laughs> okay, so Riri says, I've been collaging my brains out. I bought an old oak school chair. I bought an old, so are you going to collage the school chair? Oh, my gosh. Nothing's safe from you, huh, Riri? Everything's going to be collaged up. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then Julie says, sometimes lurking is the only way to get other things done. Yeah. You know, and you, I, when I'm at lurking at other people's channels, I'll glance up, and if I see some conversation that I want to, you know, just say hi or engage in a little bit, but I don't, I don't ever feel like I have to chat when I'm lurking and you don't have to either. I'm glad that people come here and watch and get inspiration. I mean, look, we have probably about maybe 50 people talking or maybe 30 people talking and we have 200 and over 200 people here. So yeah. Uh, so yeah. 
but everybody's real friendly. All right, so let's see. I'm just going to kind of scribble some white fur on our little panda here. And again, guys, I'm just kind of taking my time and enjoying the process and talking to you guys. So. <laughs> oh, okay. So what's the name of her channel, Pacola? Liz Finity? Okay, I got to write that down. Is it Liz Finity? Liz Finity. I'm writing this down. Okay, here we go. All right, let's see. Let's keep a rolling here. Y'all can keep talking. All right, let's see. Um, he has these like white, like little. Let me get my. I do this with more paint, but he has these like white fur kind of comes out from behind his ears. Oh, you know what I need to do? This he needs to be a little old man with <laughs> white hairs coming out of his ears. You know, put some little some little uh, spectacles on him. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, so after maybe after this, I kind of wanted to draw a tree frog for Faithful Mass. We'll see if we get to that. I do have, I did show one earlier. Did you see the tree frog I showed earlier, Faithful Mass? The one that I did a few years ago? I'll try to dig it back out here in a minute. Anyway, um, I want to pull out some of those books on nature journaling. My old ones, because I got a new one coming. But it won't probably be here till next week so i can't show it till next week but i want these to be more like i'm gonna over exaggerate these let me get my paint i want to over exaggerate this make it more than it really is <clears throat> furrier and fuzzier just because i want to <laughs> Do a tiny dart frog. She wants a tree frog. I don't know what the difference between a tiny dart frog and a tree frog is. I don't know what the difference is. But on the other one, I put a beard. I put it like a beard with a little tie. <laughs> and uh, all right. So while I've got the white paint here, let me go ahead and, and do some more white paint. Let's brighten up some of this because I'm going to do I'm going to do some of it with uh, the Posca, the little individual hairs. But let me just kind of brighten this up just a little here. Then we'll work on his little eyes a little more. If you like seeing this kind of stuff done, I'll tell you who you, because I don't do this all the time. Well, neither does Mary, but if you want to follow someone else that does this kind of fun stuff like this, Mary Altier. And I don't know if Pacola can put a link in there. I need a little bit of blue. I need just a little bit of some blue shadow here. Mary does this kind of stuff all the time. She paints. She just did some dogs recently. Well, I don't know. Mary does so much stuff. She recently she might have done no telling, but I'm gonna put a little bit of blue in here. Same for in the eyes. Of course, I can do this with pencil. I'll do that with pencil. Poison dark frog maybe I'll put there as <clears throat> just get 
little bit of shadow under here. Don't get too dark. But it's a good way to play with your paints. See what you can do with different um, blending and shading. It's just a way to really, you know, just play and learn and Maybe just a little bit of blue in here. <clears throat> All right. So let's go, I'm going to go over that with. Uh, Posca uh, fur, so. I should play with more of my Poscas, really. All right, let's dry this. M more of my colors. Okay, let me look real quick. Hang on, guys. I'm gonna be down here on the floor for just a second. Hang on. Okay, here we go. I don't even know how old this is, Faithful. But I'm going to send this to you on your birthday. It needs a little more. It needs a little bit of, it needs a little accenting here. Let me just add a little bit of oomph. I'm just going to add a little bit of oomph to him. But I'll send you this tree frog here. Oh, let's make sure that's not wet. I'll send you this tree frog, Faithful. So happy birthday. <clears throat> Faithful sends so much out. I'm going to put 2020, even though that's not when I did it. But that's when I'm sending it. So I'll send you this. It's a little flashed out here. Let's see if I can get the light down. Let's get the light down just a little. A little too bright. There we go. Okay, so I'll, I'll send you... <laughs> I'm going to send you this one, Faithful, for your birthday. You do so much for the community. I'm going to send that to you. And scribbled on, look how it's all cut up. But you can throw it in an art journal or something. So I'm going to put some faithfulness on here. Faithfulness. There you go, girl. Happy birthday. I don't know if that's the kind of tree frog you had, but that's the kind you're going to get. Okay. All right. I'll send that uh, tomorrow when I send Devin's dog out. <laughs> All right. So let's go back here. Did I dry that well enough? Let's see. All right, so now let's go back in here with some. Let me just pull, you know, just because I need to use my Arteza, my Poscas. Let's pull out a couple of the Poscas and the orange. Let's just see what I want to use here. Um, that may, this might be too bad. Let's get a little. Uh, I'm looking at the colors. Do I want to yell? That, those colors might be. Good enough. I just want to, because I never play with them. <laughs> I never play with my Poscas and my, that might be too, I need a little lighter. And my Artezas, you know, let's just uh, play with them a little. I just sent you a before and after pick of your carousel horse makeover. You made over a carousel horse? Like a real one? Oh, well, can I show it if it's a surprise for someone? Oh, but we they're not going to be here. Is that what you're saying? They're not going to be here so I can show, I can show it here. Your friends aren't your friends aren't going to be here, Julie. <laughs> let me get your let me make sure. Oh my gosh. Can I show it here? Let's get our permission first. <laughs> Julie, can I show it here? That is amazing. But I'm, before I show it, I want to get your uh, get your permission.
Okay, I can show it. Okay, look, guys. All right, let's see here. Let me bring this up. Let me see, turn it sideways. Okay, here's the before. Here's the, uh, let me light, let me turn the light down on my phone. Hang on. Let me turn, because it might help, because it flashes out. Let's see. Okay. I don't know. It's not going to show up very well. There we go. There we go. All right, so here's the before. Look at the before of that carousel horse. Okay, there's the before. Now look at this, guys. Look. Oh my gosh, Julie. What an amazing thing to do. That is, and it's huge. Look, it's, a, it's on a pole. That is awesome. Look at that, guys. I know Nanamo, right? <laughs> I, know. I think Nana's saying it for all of us. I'm trying to make it so you can see it as best as you can. Look, there's a rope, a real rope there. Awesome job. Now let's look at the whole thing again. Isn't that something, guys? <laughs> Everybody's loving it. Look. That is amazing. I bet you did work on it long and hard. That is a big project. What Linda said, yeah, that's a big project. <clears throat> that's awesome, Julie. Bye, Devin. So, Jill, uh, Pacola's asking where you found it. Maybe she could tell a little bit of, I'll keep working here. Maybe she can tell a little bit about um, where she, what she found it and stuff. Okay, I need, I need a brown, I need a sienna. If I'm going to use Posca's, do I have a, I don't know if my brown is going to be. Let's see. Don't know that it's going to be that much detail with that. So, oh, let me go back to my white first. Let's do the white fur. <clears throat> okay, we won't tell. We don't. We probably don't know who it's going. Do Do we know the per? No, because if we knew the person it was going to, then we would probably know them from here. And I don't think you you would post it here. All right, so I'm just going to play with some of the fur here, which may not show up very well because it's tiny, but we'll just keep keep rolling here. You know what? Maybe I should stop. I do the eyes because the eyes, everybody likes to see the eyes get done. Let's see. Now I can go back in here and add the little individual fur, and we can add the... See, do I want to let, let's go ahead and erase some of this pencil because it's going to detract from the thin, the thin, uh, I'll probably have to go back over some of it because I'm going over areas that I'm not really done with, but just so you can kind of get the idea where we're headed. <laughs> oh, Jilla said it belonged to my grandmother. Not sure where she got it from. I redid it for my aunt. Maybe she'll get it back someday. Maybe I will get it back someday. It's awesome. When does she get it? We want it, we want updates on that, Julie. We're gonna need updates on what she thought of it. When are you giving it to her? Like Christmas or birthday? 
when are you giving it to her? Or are you just giving it to her for no reason? I'll try to check the chat here so I can catch that answer. <clears throat> but what I was saying is if you like seeing this kind of stuff done, Mary, Mary does all kinds of animals and she's just she does all kinds of stuff so if you like to see this kind of stuff mary does it i'm waiting to see when she says she's going to give it to her After I do this, though, I think I'll go get those nature books, those draw, uh, drawing from nature, journaling, nature journaling, nat the naturalist, and show you some books on that because that's what I'm going to start doing. Uh, when I get out in, in uh, some days, it's just too dang hot to walk. I mean, Hubster walks at like 4.30 in the morning. I cannot walk that early. I have to have my coffee. <laughs> um, but he gets out. He'll walk. He usually walks and jogs, like walk, jog, walk, jog, you know, uh, five days a week. And it, but it's so it's too early. And then later in the day here in Atlanta area, it's in the 90s. It's too dang hot to walk. Just do it probably over. OK, here she goes. Probably over the holidays because we live in different states. Can you how are, are you? Oh, you're going to you're going to drive it to her, right? Though you're not going to ship that, are you? So you're going to drive it to her over the holidays? <clears throat> We're getting there. <laughs> USPS will not be involved. <laughs> I'm going to keep working on his little muzzle here. And then I'm going to um, get his eyes next. I just felt like doing some animals today. It's kind of. It's very relaxing to me. It's not, you know, it's not everybody's favorite shows to do the animal, to do drawings. People like to see the collage, the color books, you know, that kind of thing. But some days I just like to do this. And um, so, you know, I mean, I don't mind doing the others either. Trust me. I love my color books and I love my, um, I love my collage for sure. Oh, thank you, Linda. You can do some shading with pencil. You can just spend as much time as you want. You know, you can make them look real realistic by just keep going and going. Or you can just stop at any time when you feel like you just like the way it looks. All right. All right, so let's see. Let's do a little bit in the eyes. Here, let's do with my white pencil. You can soften it with the pencil. Okay. 
All right. <clears throat> Give me my blue. I'm just a little bit bigger. I don't want to get them too big because the animal's eyes are usually smaller than you think um, in amongst their fur and stuff. Oh, let's see. I know I'm missing people. Christine... Welcome back, Kenny, from cooking. <laughs> All right, let's put a little more detail on his nose. So those little nostrils show just a little bit, not much, but give them a little highlight so you can kind of see that there's nostrils in there. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's soften some of this. See, because pencil goes over the acrylic paint. So you can go in there and do all kinds of softening. And I just want the nice bright white fur for the individual hairs. But we can go in here and soften some of this. And then we'll go back over with the Posca individual hairs. Give them a little shape here. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Let's see about this bright orange. I come here to watch you do what you do, Crane Chat. Thank you, Carla. That's what we like to do. I like to hear what y'all are working on too. Like, oh my gosh, on that uh on that horse, Julie. Isn't this fun though with the Posca? I'm <laughs> just doing the little hairs. Most of the time I'm using my paint brushes, you know, except for the white Posca, which, you know, that's so bright white. You just can't beat that bright white Posca.
All right. We're going to just do a little bit more, guys, and I'm going to go get some books for you guys to um, get interested in going outside and doing some nature drawing. How many of y'all have or done, maybe not like just recently, but maybe, you know, months, some months ago, maybe last fall. Do y'all ever get out and draw outside? Even if it's only in your own garden, like Kathy Arbor. Oh my gosh. Her, if y'all don't follow Kathy Arbor on Instagram, if you want to see some absolutely stunning gar uh, flowers, so she, I know she would probably draw some of hers. But do you ever get out and draw in your own garden? Okay, Linda, get your dinner done. Yeah, I know you're around the you're around the globe. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. Shora. <laughs> um, I will try to find that. I will try to find that uh, binder of Yuru. I will try, Linda. Um, so does anybody draw uh, their vegetables, their own um, their own florals or vegetables? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Pacola. Yeah. Just look up Kathy Arbor on Instagram. You will find Kathy.Arbor. Uh, if you want to see some stunning floral photography. But I want to know how many of you draw from your own flowers, gardens. I think I'm going to have to get out some more paint. Let me get out my, um, I think I need a, I think I need a, a liner brush. Hang on, let's see. I want to do some flicky, flicky stuff. That one's, that one's a little too thin. <laughs> Don't need something quite that thin. But I want a liner brush. This one maybe. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna try to do I mean I could do it with the Posca too, but I can get some nice little wispies with the with the liner brush. Alright, I'm trying to reach out here. It is, Debbie. That is so true. That is so true, Debbie. Her garden is admission worthy. <laughs> um, you haven't, or Candy says she hasn't in years. Well, because I, I want, I'm going to pull out some books. I'm, all right, so this is what I do with my white. I put it in my hand, and I kind of get it nice and, like, really, I can just feel it and see how much is on there. Otherwise, if I just try to go right in here, look, you're just picking up a blob. So I can kind of like get it nice and thin the way I want. And then you can kind of wisp it. I might need just a, it's starting to dry out just a little. Let me get just a touch of water because it's starting to dry out in my tray. There we go. There we go. So I want to wisp it. Let's see if this is. A little bit more, a little bit more water. It's a little too dry still. So I want to do some little wispy hairs. And you can kind of flick them in with the, whoops, oh, that's more than a flick. <laughs> Again, I'm, my white paint's dried out or drying out. So you can get those long little, and you may not be able to see them on camera. I'll, I'll, I'll try to hold it up here in a minute. And they're like long and wispier. And the same thing for like, if you want a little bit longer or a little bit more. No. Hi, Lady Jen. Oh, uh, no, I don't have a favorite. These are just, they're no, they're no name brands for the, for the most part. And when I'm pulling, 
you know, if I was doing um, like a nice watercolor or oil painting or something where the brush really was you would noticeably do a difference like oh in like Janet when she does her watercolors and although she'll say that for the most part she doesn't use you know expensive or anything like watercolor brushes sometimes your watercolor brushes will matter that will matter but for the most part what I do guys here for these animals um it, it doesn't matter what kind of brush I use but um you know, most of my detail that I do is like um, color pencil. <clears throat> so it is um, a five, a five in liner. I don't know if that means anything in a liner. When I buy brushes, like a liner brush, I look at how thin it is and how long it is. It's like, oh, I need a longer one this week. <laughs> you, know, you know, I need a, I got so many different brushes, guys. If y'all would see all, the, and they're mostly cheap brushes. They're mostly cheap brushes. And then when they get, um, when they get like flared or crusty, then sometimes they're good for, textures and stuff or they'll go in the glue brush if they're big enough they'll go in the glue brush um water because those are the only brushes that i keep uh in water are glue brushes so but you can get real fine little hairs and again i'm not really trying to do a portrait here i'm just kind of messing around just whatever <clears throat> all right so now let me clean this out all right now let me can go back in here with just a little bit more of you know some more little highlights with the posca just because they're nice bright colors with our panda here And I could sit here all day and do all these little hairs, but y'all would get bored. So I'll just do a few. I, again, guys, I kind of just took my time on this today. We didn't kind of rush through, but it was fun. It was fun to do it. And now I can do one last thing. Let's try this. Well, I do want to do one other thing. I want to put some more brown over on this side. And I'm going to go get some art books for you guys on nature drawing. They're in the other room, so I have to go run and get those. Um, a little bit of, a little bit more shading. Okay, so now I can kind of get his little muzzle a little bit rounder here. A little bit more shading around it. Set the nose back in the face just a little. A little more shading under his lip here. A little more under the eye, maybe. <clears throat> all right i'm gonna call him done and i don't always sign him but i will there's a pen or a pencil in here so.
There we go. There's our little panda. <laughs> our little red panda. So let's back out one just so you can kind of see. There we go. <laughs> he was fun. You like him? Thanks. Thank you, Kenny. Okay, hang on, guys. I'm a BRB. I'm going to go run in the other room and get those uh, books. And also, I forgot last week to read out of our 1001 Ways to Be Creative. So I'm going to set that right here so I remember to read out of that. All right, hang on. Let me take a sip of juice and go run and get those books. I'm pretty sure. Well, I don't know. They might. Do I have them all next door? I think so. Okay, hang on. Let me go in the other room. There's two that I think are downstairs. So I'm going to run downstairs real quick. See that over there. Let me take this cold coffee down. Hang on. Let me go downstairs. I think there's two down there that I really want to show you. Okay. All right. Let me catch my breath now that I ran downstairs. All right. So, move our little panda out of the way. So, the, I'm not going to tell you the book that it works. I want to surprise you guys when I get it. But uh, there's some other ones that I've had and I've shown. Move everything over. I've shown. Um, these before at different times over the years. Let me put this paint up while I catch my breath. And this line over here. Water jump up here. Alright. Okay. So let me get to the point of so there's a, a bunch of different oh I forgot my um my uh, what is her name again claudia nice hang on i'm missing a couple i wanted to show hang on
just pulled one of the Claudia Nice books. But uh, there's all kinds, I've got all kinds of watercolor books on nature drawing and watercolor, but I'm not gonna pull that. My point in these books is not so much watercolor, the pen and ink, the techniques. It's more about the drawing of nature rather than the whether, what you're using, okay? But Claudia Nice is one that does awesome pen and ink and watercolor work with drawing in nature. But before I do that, I want to start with the main thing. Uh, these two, well, this one's a good one of hers too, but a trail through leaves, a journal as a path to place, Hannah Henchman. I I think she's kind of like the, the, I don't want to say grandmother of <laughs> the godmother. I don't know. Of, um, of drawing in nature and of course there's tons more uh, others and I've shown her book I've talked about her book and I've read excerpts out of it but she she's an observer you know she's like a scientist nat nat naturalist and she's not just drawing just just for the drawing but drawing to um let's see let's turn the light down here a minute because it does get flashed out with books Um, and so she writes notes, she writes the time of day, like, look at all the notes she's got here on these frogs. I know you won't be able to read the notes, but you see what I'm talking about? This is what I'm trying to, uh, go for in the fall. And if anybody else wants to go along with, you know, to do it too, is drawing from nature, whatever you see your garden, your flowers, your leaves, your plants, your frogs, your bugs, and, and write about it. So you're not just drawing for the sake of drawing. You're, you're doing um, like a field guide to insects here. And uh, so you're kind of, uh, you're doing more observing, okay? You're observing nature and, and noting it. And so Hannah Henchman, I have a couple other her books that are like little journals that she made years ago. They're on another shelf somewhere. I'm not sure where. Um, but you can see some are more detailed. Some she does in pen and ink, you know, pencil. She adds watercolor. And, uh, and she makes notes about everything the time of day, um, you know, observing things. Can you just watch the Discovery Channel? <laughs> yeah, but it's not the same as your actual observations. Your observations are going to, you will, because then you learn so much more about the intricacies of what you're drawing that you can't just get, you, trust me, I love the, I love all the history, nature, discovery, animal planet. I love all that too, faithfulness. But there's something about going out and doing it yourself. So anything by Hannah Hinchman, you are going to get awesome information. This is the soft cover. Uh, this is 0393 and um, A Trail Through Leaves. I don't know what year this came out. 1997. So this is from 1997. But there, Pacola just put a link in the chat. Hopefully the chat got, I don't know why sometimes the chat shows up in the recordings and sometimes it doesn't. Let me get some of the paint off my hand. Uh, I don't know why sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. I don't know what determines when other than editing i know when you edit your videos the chat will go away but i'm not editing anything so i don't know why uh sometimes the chat doesn't show up uh and sometimes it does and other youtubers are saying the same thing they don't know why their chats are sometimes showing up and sometimes not either so we don't know <laughs> But uh, that is the case. So A Trail Through Leaves, Hannah Henchman. 
So again, back to Claudia Nice. I've got a couple of her books here where she's, this one shows where she's, and again, this is, I'm sure, quite old. Um, <coughs> this is from 1995. <coughs> and she shows you how she does her techniques with pen and ink and watercolor. Now, when you go out and just draw for the sake of drawing and nature note taking, you know, you're, you're not going to do this unless you're just sitting there for some time. You're not going to do this kind of detail outside more than likely. You know, you know, if you do it all the time like she does, maybe you could. I'm not going to sit out there and do a full painting in, you know, plain air. I'm just not. But um, the idea is to go out and, and take notes on what you see and observe and write about it. This particular book here is more on her techniques, right? The different textures she uses, things like that. But she's an awesome one if you like uh, pen and ink and watercolor or just drawing from nature, either one. So anything by Claudia Nice is going to be good. And then this one here is how to keep a sketchbook journal. Let's see, by Claudia Nice as well. And this one is 2001. And this is a, a little more uh, uh, landscape size book. But she talks about it more in here. And I love the way it's just like all handwritten looking. I don't know if it's a computer font based off her handwriting or whatever. But I like the, uh, I like the way that she, her book is all looks handwritten. So, again, it's a little wide here. But she writes, she's writing all her notes on her observations and things. So it kind of, let me go just flip from the back. So you can kind of get the idea of how she does, uh, again, more pen and ink, but also observation. Like here's some of the birds. And a lot of this, you know, you just got to sketch and draw a lot. And write down what is you know, what you see and what you thought was important to in your vision of what you saw. So just kind of flipping through, giving you guys some ideas here on that. And again, this has a lot of techniques as well. All right. So... Another person that does these kind of nature books, I got some more over here too. And I did pull that Hannah Hinchman book, Marjol Bastine. Now she, um, she actually did a lot of Hallmark cards and, and I don't know, even know what years she, she was really popular at Hallmark. Look, I still have some of her Hallmark cards in here. These are some of her Hallmark cards. This is from 1995. This is one of her Hallmark cards from 1995. There she is there. I think she's still on Instagram. But anyway, um, again, watercolor and a lot of, uh, she has a little letter in here. I don't know what year this book was, 1996. But when you, when you observe nature and draw a lot from nature, then you can, you can do more, um, your own interpretation and your own, you know, it's not, look, little butterflies. Then you can recombine things and make your own paintings, your own drawings, your own cards and things. But I can tell you, I'm sure she spent many, many hours in a garden drawing from nature. So I just wanted to show you some of, um, some different books like this. She's your favorite, Carla. Look at the little squirrels. And she even draws the pencils. And she has all kinds of draw, uh, of cards and things out there. Uh, her art supplies. And um, she draws paint brushes. And look, here's a whole thing of feathers. 
and uh, a little bit of her history. And look, here's look right here. All of our pins. Thank you, Pacol. Pacol is putting links to these in. I hope the chat records or, or goes on to the YouTube recording after this so y'all can find all the links. I'm hopefully telling you enough of uh, the artist's names and stuff for you to find them. Looky here. So there's her paint, her paint tubes, her paint brushes, her flowers. Look at this. See? Now, she's not, in this book, she's not writing a lot about this kind of plant, what year, what month she saw it in, what was it, fall, winter, spring, you know, whenever, uh, when she saw these things, uh, like a nature, like a Hannah Henchman type scientific journal. But the thing is, guys, if you got kids or grandkids that you can take out into nature, give them a sketchbook, give them a pencil, you know, and again, I want to show you that you can take your, the same, the, you know, depending on the age of the kids, but you can always just take a super tip, um, Crayola super tips, and you can scrape these out on, um, I don't see it, let me find something here. Anything porcelain, you know, anything porcelain or, or even white plastic, but you can, you can uh, scribble out with these uh, water-based super tips. And then if you have a water brush, okay, water brush, you can treat it just like watercolors, see? So it, you can use your super tips are good to have like on the, on the fly. You could take a few of these and a water brush and you've got you a little portable, you know, nature walk journal thing <laughs> to take with you. And, um, well, then it's not for you, Gail, obviously. <laughs> I don't mean everybody. But those of you that do have kids that are interested in drawing or interested in, you know, nature and they're observing and, and um, you want to uh, get them to be pay attention and like to draw, they don't know what to draw, they can do something like that. Um, again, this is by her as well. I don't know where the sleeve is for this one. I think it's on the bookshelf. But anyway, just so you can kind of see the different types. She does them in like color waves. Like everything here is blue. Aren't these just stunning guys? Yeah, exactly. You just you just carry some uh, super tips. You know, you can get a pack of eight or, you know, or, you know, have the full range of a hundred colors, but you can use them as watercolor um, sketchy. Now, would I use a watercolor super tips for a watercolor painting like that you're going to do a commission for? No, but if you're just out sketching in nature and you just want something quick, you know, and you're, if you don't think you're going to go home and paint, uh, another thing that you can do when you're out uh, drawing is write down the colors. Write down something that's the closest color you could think of. You know, like you saw a leaf and you don't have any colors with you, which you have your pen or your pencil. You can write like light olive green with um, yellow striation. See, those kind of things are you being observant to what is going on. Now, I did, I'll show you a thing that I did from TV. I've shown it before, but I'll bring it out here again in a minute. Just to show you what you can do with pencil sketching and note taking. Uh, I didn't go back and I didn't, I did it on purpose. I wasn't trying to make uh, paintings from them. I just wanted to be, uh, it was a time where I just needed to be like still and, and just observe. So I did this from a TV show. I'll show that. I'll pull that back out in a little while. But anyway, if you want to get outside, look, look at all her bird nest here. And she made greeting cards. She worked for Hallmark. And uh, your daughter's getting into this, Debbie. And uh, so she, you know, eventually went on to work for Hallmark after. But look, look at all the different bees. And to be able to, if you can see a bee on a flower and draw it yourself, you're going to see how it moves or you know, how it creeps or how it flutters that you can't see, you know, you just can't see it in a book, a picture of a book. 
But anyway, I wanted to just kind of show you a couple people that do these kinds of drawings so you can get some ideas. Here's the Hannah Hinchman creating the illuminated journal. And again, I've had this. This is falling apart. I've had this for a long time. Let's see. This 1991. So this one came like with this and it came with a blank journal. Came in a set. So again, it's, this one's called A Life in Hand. I think this was her first one. And she had a journal with it. And she showed how uh, being observed, and you know, she's right. She's it's it's her whole story. It's her whole um, how what happened. You know how she got into it, and how um, how it helped her in her life to to do this kind of um, note taking and sketching and journaling from nature. And then a couple more here. This one is Nature Journaling, Learning to Observe and Connect with the World Around You. Claire Walker Leslie and Charles E. Roth. And again, let's see. Look, see, this is what I'm talking about here. See how quick sketches and note taking. Oh, you like the idea, Gail D., about the Crayola of Fine? Yeah, because, and you can blend too. Um, oh, the cat's under my desk there. Getting in trouble. Are you getting in trouble, Bill? Do you want to come up here, baby girl? Do you want to come up here? And you can, um, let me clean this off and I'll show you. Here, let me get my baby wipe here. And it doesn't have to be, a, you know, it doesn't have to be a, you know, metal porcelain. It can be, as long as it's, as long as it's white, because otherwise you can't, um, see the colors. Like, on my acrylic like this, I can see acrylic paint on a black, on black, right? You can't see watercolor uh, like that. Okay, so, and, and my baby here is putting a shadow on here. All right, so let me get like red and yellow so I can show you what I'm talking about. Let me just get a little piece of paper. In a water brush, which I just had here. Where'd it go? There we go. You're laying on my water brush, babe. Okay, so here we got, you can have your red and your yellow. So you can have, you can have, uh, you know, your red. You can have your yellow. Or you can mix them. They'll mix. They're water-based. They're water-based. Okay, so yeah, it's good for, you know, good for quick and dirty, uh, you know, watercolor mixing. Or you could have one of these, <laughs> it's all, you know, whatever works for you. But, you know, just to show that uh, kids, if you don't, you know, want to get them, you know, anything expensive, you know, get them a water brush and, and some Crayola super tip markers and something for them to scrape it off on. You can even do it on a piece of plastic. Just a piece of, um, you know, packaging, plastic, you know, the thick plastic that pins and things come in. That'll even work if you put that on top of a white piece of paper. So, like, here's a piece of, I don't know if I have a piece of plastic handy. I did keep some handy. Just Well, anyway, all you would do is just take a piece of plastic and put it over a white piece of paper just so you could see the colors, right? And a, and a piece of uh, packaging over that and mix on that so that works too what do you know no no baby you can't get in there you cannot get over there you stay here uh, <laughs> so let me just kind of flip through this one. Oh, i don't know what year let's see what year did i tell you the year on this one might be in the back let's see. 1998 so this one's 1998 and again, this is a hard back, but you can probably, look, there's some kids doing that. Look. Um, you could, uh, this probably comes in a soft back by now. <laughs> well, Jan, I'm talking about for kids. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, okay, Janet, you're a kid. You see how they, they've got their little notebooks and they're drawing and observing. Um observing whatever is there out there doing you know the whether it's the beach the woods your garden your own flower garden 
and this is all in pen and uh well some of it's in pencil but uh claudia nice likes to draw a lot in pen and ink but it doesn't matter you know it's just the idea of, look look at all look at here tracks and then you've got a record this is this is like if you want to do a diary and you're not a diarist a diarist <laughs> Uh, and you want to keep track of the seasons, you know, see, look, isn't this awesome though, guys? Phases of the moon, birds, this one, she's got a whole chart in here, or they do. The ongoing journal. And there's tons of more of these kind of books out there, guys. I just pulled, you know, a handful off my shelf. To show you to get you get you inspired. See? Seed pods. You know, take one of your plants. Take like I'm growing pepper. I have pepper plants in my garden. I could take one, draw it, cut it open, draw it inside. You know, the seeds, the season that I planted them, and when it when they you know were big enough to eat and all that. So you can do that. No, babe, you can't get in there. Okay, you're going to have to, uh, no, you have to get down. No, nope. they like to get in my paint water. Okay, so there's that one. <laughs> and the other one that I have, I pulled two. I think there's four Mario Ka Margio Kosh um, books. Let me see. Does she have them in the back? I'm not sure. And I think in one of the books, it shows all the books. And anytime there's an article in a magazine, um, I don't come across these, across these that much. Like I think this might have been out of, um, I don't know if it was out of Victoria or if it was out of. But anyway, anytime I'd come across any articles in a magazine about an artist, or and I do that with authors too, I will cut out the article and keep it in the book. So, okay, you may, you, no, no, honey, no. Let's go on. Okay. Um, and keep the article in the book. Or if there's a write-up about an artist or anything like that, I try to keep it in the book. So this one is Bird Egg Feather Nest. And again, I think that she has four of them. And I pulled two off my shelf. Um, and I think these come in softback now. Um, these books do. But when I bought them, I got them. This is 1994. And then Seed, Leaf, Flower, Fruit. This one is, I'm going to flip through them. 98 and i think there's one in between and one after i think she i think there's four of them um oh good debbie you've been wanting nature journal like this oh good well here's some ideas so bird egg feather nest and again i know my color because of all the different moving around we've done do a little bit of white balance there. Oops, no, nope, no, nope, most wrong way. Trying to get it as true to the color of the book that I can. But once I go into the white pages, you know, uh, it. <laughs> your granddaughter's interested. Okay, good. So this one's bird egg feather. Again, these are not so much how to go out in the wild or in nature and do it as it is her observations of what she did. Okay, so let's we got to kind of start from the front in this one because she does go through each thing. Birds, eggs, feather, nest. She literally does go through each thing. And um, so like here's bird. And another thing I like about how she did, she did illuminated lettering. And some calligraphy and stuff like that. I love that. I because you know I used to be a calligrapher. Well, I say used to be a calligrapher. I still do calligraphy occasionally, but not professionally. Um, so archaeology. Look, here's like a little history of. Oh, it's flashing. Let me turn the light down again just a little. It's wanting to flash out, and I know part of it is because the book. Let me see. Let's put some. Let's put a couple books under it because of the glare. There we go. Just take the glare off because it's a shiny, shiny book. 
We'll take the glare. Hi, Flyfox Pro, Daniel. How you doing? So I don't want to go through every page, but I want to just kind of give you all an idea. But look at all the notes that she has about things. Here's a kiwi. So she has a little information about the kiwi. And now I'm not saying she did this out in, in the wild, you know, but she probably has sketchbooks where she wrote all this stuff down um, and then went back and did paintings. Look at all the little ways the hummingbird flies. Look, she's got little hummingbirds the way they fly around there. And um, here's a hummingbird nest. Did y'all know that it looked like that? Look. So this is the kind of stuff that, you know, we can watch it on TV and we can read it in books. But when you're out and you see these things in person or teach your kids or grandkids to go out and do it, you know, um, it, it really is, you know, much more, um, I'll say meaningful, but more educational, <laughs> educational. Um, I don't know if they're individual ones. There's This one has all four subjects in it, Faithful Mass. See, right now I'm under the birds. See, it's all about the birds. I'll just kind of flip through here. I'm trying to kind of prop it up, too, on some other books so the glare is not there. <clears throat> and different birds. Okay, then here's eggs. So now she has a whole chapter on eggs. Yeah. Thoughts on egg laying, all the different kinds of eggs. Look at this, see? Isn't this awesome? They are beautiful and detailed, Ruth S. I know. Oh, a Ruth. Ruth Sheldon. There she is. I'm so glad you came in. So, y'all, um, I met Ruth uh, through... Other people online, uh, I don't want to get into her personal business. But anyway, um, I've been trying to get Ruth to come on the show. And I told her everybody would give her a warm welcome. So, Ruth, I know, aren't they? They're beautiful and detailed. And so these books, and I'm so glad you visited, Ruth. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for popping in. And, uh, yeah, I'm so happy you stopped in. I don't want to embarrass her to death. <laughs> And uh, so here's camouflage. Like, look, there's the eggs hidden in the rocks. So she painted all these, you know, she painted all these. And see, look, all the written details about it. Thanks, Carla. Thank you. I told her that y'all were friendly. <laughs> Okay, so look, egg art, painting eggs. And then, look, and then now we're into feathers. So now they've got wings and feathers. And hi, P Money. Get Ruth on the show. Okay, so I'll just say P and Ruth are married. So P Money and Ruth. Uh, <laughs> But since P's money is going on and on about her, I guess we better uh, better confess that he knows her well. <laughs> Before it looks like he's flirting with her. P money, stop flirting with my guest. <laughs> so yeah, Ruth. Uh, yeah, we don't we don't want we don't want to embarrass her. And look, there's some uh, Hawaiian Hawaiian birds and flowers and. Marie Antoinette. <laughs> so anyway, I just I just love these books, and I, like I said, I think there's four. Uh, I don't three, maybe four different ones, and I'm sure they're in uh, soft cover now. Back when I got these, you know, they were all hard cover. So here's Nest, Faithful Mess. Here's Nest. So. Um, Look at this one, like on a blueprint. Oh, okay. Faithful Miss said there's a miniature version called Nesting Instincts. Okay. Did you, did you show it on your show? 
Why is it familiar to me? Just the name of that. I'm not sure, Faithful Mess. Okay, so Faithful said that there is nesting instincts. So isn't this cool, guys? So let me just kind of do a flip through the rest here. Just so you can kind of get an idea. And again, I've got it kind of propped up. Look at all these acorns. Don't tell me you can't find an acorn outside somewhere and, and at least take it home and draw it. It's better if you can draw it in person, in like in out. But, you know, at least try to bring some leaves home. If you're not brave enough to be out and draw in public or anything like that, at least pick up a leaf, pick up an acorn and bring it home and draw and take notes. Write the time of day you found it or the season you found it, the month. And uh, I'm going to be doing it, guys. I'm going to try to get Janet to do it with me. I'm not, I'm not trying to put her on the spot or anything. I haven't asked her about it yet or anything, but I'm going to do it because it gets me out more. Right now, like I said, it's, it's 90 degrees and 100% humidity in Atlanta. It's hard to get out and do this unless you're like my husband who goes jogging, walking at 430 in the morning, which I'm not doing it. Uh, it's dark for one thing. <laughs> But so anyway, um, that one is, and again, I kept the articles here and some of uh, bird egg feather nest. And then the other one that I brought up is seed leaf flower fruit. And I think, I don't know if Pecola has put any more out there or anything, but I think there's at least three, if not four of these books. And again, it's broken out under seed leaf flower fruit. So, and I just love the illuminated letters and oops, look, look how beautiful just that one page is um, a long time ago. Yeah, I know. Isn't it beautiful? And so let me just kind of flip through here. Again, I'm leaning up against some other, look at this, look on the corn. Look, all the kinds of corn. Yellow hybrid, Indian corn, silver queen, Indian corn, purple husk, and another kind of Indian corn. I guess they're different, or India, Indus corn. And so, look, look at this, though. Isn't this awesome? Different potatoes, different um, squash, oh, no, it's pepper, and, uh, well, that's a tomato. So, I'm, I have, I'm not reading it right now. I'm just kind of going by the pictures. Look at all the seeds and the wheats. Look at all the seeds. So anyway, there's just so much in these books. And so the idea, guys, is, you know, I'm not expecting anybody in, in myself included to make a book like this. I'm not talking about making a book for yourself this elaborate, this detailed, this time consuming. She probably spent years, you know, making each book. Came out with one every other year or something like that. But the idea is go find one maple leaf. Go find one maple leaf and a little, hang on, and a sketchbook. And even if you just draw, uh, I found this maple leaf in the fall 2020. You know, I'm the only person outside. Everybody else is locked in their house. I mean, you say whatever you want, but it's kind of like a nature diary, you know, like a nature diary and, um, yeah, see, same thing, Carla. You know, I, you're not going out in Texas in August. But if you go out or you're out walking from, you're, you know, walking your dog, let's just say. You're out walking your dog. You take him to the park and you find some leaves. Pick up a couple leaves. Take them home. Sketch them out. Paint them if you want. And write down where you found them. The, the time, the date, you know, the date you found them. And uh, it doesn't have to be a, an all day affair. It doesn't have to be you have to go out in 90 degree weather and, you know, huff and puff through the forest. I'm not saying that. Y'all know your limitations. You know how much you can do or can't do. Bye, Ashley. Thank you so much. Thanks for stopping in. Look for something that draws you run around my town. Okay, see, Ashley's on it. Now, Ashley, she's an inspiration. If you don't find at follow Ashley McDowell on Instagram, she is a, a an inspiration to weight loss and exercise. I'm telling you, 
she is an inspiration. So she's saying she's going out and run. I'm sure it's not 90 degrees and 100% humidity, but I don't know. But she's going to go see what she can find around her town. Maybe a leaf, a flower, or a rock. That's what she said. But follow Ashley on Instagram. So anyway, I just wanted to give y'all some ideas and get you inspired. Look, what they've done with the flowers, the perfumes. Uh, and look at the borders. Look. You know, look at the pretty borders that she's put. Again, I'm not saying everybody has to go be this elaborate. But, you know, even if you just had a, a sketchbook handy so that you could do it once a week or, you know, once every couple of, you know, a couple of weeks. Draw some of your food. If you got, you know, if you if you bought some vegetables at the at the market come home and before you eat them draw them cut it open draw the seeds in the pear you know draw the kiwi draw the you know you, you know just because you know this is all oh the this part here that i'm in now um let's see this would be no this is the fruit the seed part was the front first chapter see it's divided up just like that seed leaf flower fruit so the seeds would have been here toward the front. They were like here. See, she gives you a little history and talking about seeds. All right, here we go. Look, here's different beans. I mean, look, <laughs> just imagine. Um, then here's the seeds that are in grains. Look, here's all the seeds that are in grains. Um, yeah, and Bruce saying she doesn't function in the heat either. Oh, I know. I know. And, you know, it's just, you, you know, you're just sweating and dripping sweat all over your work. That's just no fun. If you're doing it for exercise and you're walking and you don't care if you're sweating, you know, you're going to come home and take a shower. But if you're just out in a walk or, like I said, walking your dog or if at the very least, you know, whenever you see a seed, a grass, uh, uh, you know, a fruit from the vegetable garden, you know, Find a way to do it. Don't don't say, oh, well, you know, because I'm the first one to say I'm not walking in that heat. But, you know, I might, you know, I might walk, walk into the mailbox at the end of my driveway. I'm going to find some leaves in the yard. I'm going to find some leaves in the yard. I can do that. Right. Or when I'm doing a walk down the end of the street and back and I do that twice, it makes a mile. I mapped out how far a mile is down my street and back down my street and back. It's a mile. And um, so, you know, and all your neighbors probably have different leaves. They don't care if you pick up a leaf that fell in their yard. <laughs> you know? So anyway, that seed leaf flower fruit. So I hope you all got some out of that. Real quick before we go, I want to read our inspiration because I forgot to read out of it last week. A Thousand and One Ways to Be Creative. A Little Book of Everyday Inspiration, Barbara Ann Kipfer. I got this at my Tuesday morning sometime back a year or two ago. And we just read a couple pages every week. And uh, my Tuesday morning closed. So, but anyway. All right. So, and then every time we move, I move, just move the little post-it note over for the next week. Um, oh, thank you, Bacola. All right. Let me stop real quick. So real quick. Um. There used to be a show, and, and, I, and I'm sure it's still online at places, but it's not on TV that I remember seeing any time lately. But it's it, was, it wasn't Planet Earth. It was called, well, it's in my book. So hang on, let me grab my book. I think it's this one. Hang on. Hang on, let me get the book. I don't want to pull my shelves down. I think this is it. Yeah. Okay. So when I did these, let me check the date real quick. I did these back in 2009. Okay. So I did these back in 2009 in one of these big black hardback sketchbooks. And it used to be called, let me find it here. It's on one of these pages. Sunrise Earth. Sunrise Earth. So there was a TV show called Sunrise Earth. Let me tell you how it went. So they would they would uh, capture a sunrise way far away, and they did it all over the world. So you might be on an island, and, and you see the sunrise way, way, way off. 
then they zoom in a little closer to maybe the an island and then they kind of linger on so it's all moving it's like a movie right it's like a t it's like video it's moving and so you hear the birds you see things flying through and walking around crabs on the beach <laughs> And uh, then they'll zoom in on something else. And then pretty soon you are up on top of a flower or a bug or a bee. So it starts off way far away. And I think the shows were 15 minutes long, 30 minutes. I'm not, I don't really remember because, again, this was in 2009. So what I did is uh, I did them all in pencil. Let me back out. There's no pen, and I don't think there's really much color. I don't think I added any color. The point of this was for me just to sit with my big sketchbook and a pencil, and I use the same kind of pencil I always use. They're my favorite pencils, the um, Paper Mate disposable pencils with the, uh, my own erasers on them. Don't use these erasers. They'll leave red. Um, but the plastic, white plastic erasers, just a Paper Mate twistable disposable i love these things they're just the perfect number two pencil and i would while the show was going on i would draw i wasn't writing anything in color i mean i wasn't drawing anything in color i wasn't doing any painting so what i would do is i would write notes so like if i was under the ocean this is what i would be doing but it started off like this so here's where it would start this far away and this is all you would see then it would zoom in a little closer. So I would draw that. And you had about, it would stay on one little area for maybe about 30 seconds. Maybe, a, don't, I don't think it stayed more than a, at the most a minute. I don't, I think maybe a minute's too, too long. And then it would zoom in on, you know, something else and then closer and closer. And, um, and while I, I would be drawing, I would write um, notes. Now, what they did on Sunrise Earth while they were showing this, and you might be able to find it online. I tried to look on YouTube one time, and I didn't find it exactly this. Um, but anyway, and again, this is from 2009. And so, but what they would do is they'd put little uh, notes. They would tell you, like, they would tell you that this was an angelfish. It lives in harems of females around a male. So it would tell you this information. So I would write it down while I was sketching the fish. So I would draw the little fish. I would write the notes and I would make my own color notes. They didn't tell you colors because obviously it was in color. So I would make my own note like here. This is called a bright salmon. And, and I wrote down here, black eyes. No, that's the color. Bright salmon color with silver on the bottom, halfway, black eyes outlined with yellow gold, a gold stripe down the center. So I would make all these little notes while I was watching the show. And it just made you observe things. It made you pay attention to things. Plus, you're just keeping your hand busy sketching, right? Um. Yes, I would. These are very quick. I mean, I'm these little I these little things. I would draw them in. I mean, I'm talking. If Ruth, if you've not ever seen my five second faces, I do. I do. I. The idea is to the more you sketch, the quicker you're going to get. The more you observe. Uh, go to the museum. Go to the aquarium. Go to your natural history museum. Any of those things. Draw the animals moving zoo whatever you can whatever's available and whatever's open right now and don't anybody go oh my zoo's closed because of the virus okay okay people don't email me i get that though people i'm serious you'll get an email um you suggested we go to the zoo my zoo's closed down yeah i <laughs> can't win people i swear i just just ignore it and just move on to your happy to your happy place <laughs> okay so anyway like here's a white tip shark it has white tips on the bottom uh, or white tips on the uh, the tips of their tail. Uh, and, it, and they said in the video that it returns to the same cave. So I did a quick little cave. And you know what? I, I'm, I'm thinking that I might have used two pencils on this. I think I did use my, um, hang on, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I actually used, 
I did some, I can tell I did some with this pencil, but most of my, let me find it here. Hang on, let me show you the pencil I use because the, they're the woodless pencils. The woodless pencils. Let me see. Let me look in my box here. Where's the box right here? I don't know if I have a woodless pencil in here or not. Hang on. But I want to show you the best pencil for if you have to go somewhere. Here's one. Okay. Nope, that's not one. Eh, where's my woodless? My woodless graphite's not one in here. Hang on. I will find. I'm thinking. I'm 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 mentally going around my room to wear a woodless graphite pencil. But anyway, they're plastic coated pencils. There's no um no wood on them. They're plastic coated and they're nice um they're nice big a section of graphite where you can do different sides of the pencil. And I think that's what I used on this now that I'm thinking about it. But can I find one when I want one? No. Because I haven't used one in a while. Let me dig in. Here we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I got one. I did. Okay. <laughs> Here's one. Let me sharpen it up for you. All right. So woodless graphite. And, they, and general makes them. Progresso makes them. There's different ones. This, um, But it says woodless graphite. And this is a 9B. So it's going to be real. Let me just go to this. So it's going to be real, you can get real dark and real light and real thin and thick. And see how you can get so many different kinds of marks. This is an excellent pencil if you want to um, sketch, like quick sketching. You're sketching people on the go. You're sketching um, at, a, you know, at a park or a zoo and you're sketching real quick. And, and I like it because it's real dark and thick. But you can, because look at all the different shading and you can get real thin and real thick. Look, all that from, all that from one pencil, a woodless graphite. But I know I've used this at some points. I don't know if it's, it, was, it wasn't this page. But anyway, well, I'll just keep moving on because I want to show you this book before I uh, we go. And then I would write down, uh, and so I said, drawing moving scenes on sunrise earth. And it was called HD Theater on Discovery Channel. It was 7 a.m. on a Wednesday, February 2009. There was the DVD. I wrote the number down if you wanted to buy the DVD. Again, this was 2009, guys. This was the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Okay. I don't know. Hopefully, you're able to see. Can you all see some of it? I tried to adjust the lighting so that you can see. Does one of them make your hands great? Yes, it will make. Well, it won't here because it's plastic coated, Ruth. The pencil itself is plastic coated. But yeah, look, you'll get it on. Look, if you got it on your hands. Yeah. It's very graphite-y. But not this part because it's coated with plastic. Very, very. Uh, they're just so useful for quick drawing. Okay, so let's move on. I want to show you some of these. Can you all see okay? All right. So this was... Uh, Kala, uh, I can't pronounce it anyway. Overlook in Hawaii, and um, so it started far away. So I drew it far away. You could see the sunrise coming up over the mountains there, and then it zoomed in on these little I don't know if they were old volcano. Well, I could read it here crater hills inside a valley. This was in Maui, Halakala Crater. 10,000 feet above the Pacific Ocean. Um, and I wrote, some are dirt looking. Craters in little crater hills inside of a valley. Some areas of these have tiny green plants covering them. Vernal grass, non-native, grows. And I wrote that down. That would have been something that they would have put up there. That they would have uh, put on the screen. So all this little information, but then I would write these hills right here. I'm sure they're volcanic hills, jagged hills, silhouetted black against the rising sun. Then here's all when they would zoom in on all the little plants and things. I would sketch them down as quick as I could because they don't stay on it. They stay on it for like 30 seconds and you got to move on. So you just draw what you can and then write your notes. And this, you know, this is an 11 by 14 sketchbook. So then here is 
New Zealand frost, glacial, a glacial lake in New Zealand. Lake Watatika, I can't pronounce it. Anyway, I wrote it down. So it starts out with a uh, sunrise coming over, and all this was pure white. This all this was all ice covered. This is all ice, and yeah, New Zealand frost. That's what it said. That's what I wrote there. Then we had, all right, so this one was a little different than they usually did. This one, they moved you uh, through the Venetian canals. Bye, April. They moved you through the canals. It's like you were on, um, you were on a, a gondola, <laughs> and they were moving you through the canals, and you would go under all these different bridges. So every time we go under a bridge, I try to draw every bridge we went under. And then on the sides of the buildings and things, there'd be these lamp posts and different windows and, and metal uh, ironworks. So I just drew whatever. Here's another ironwork. So I just drew and I got two pages of this. See, continue. <laughs> so then there were these little birds sitting on shelves. There was wrought iron lamps. And then here's the different little boats that you'd see throughout the little trip in your gondola down the down the rivers in venice um okay so here we have marco polo lived on the left bank of wherever it was we were driving through riding through and uh, so i'd write all these notes um that they would either write or tell you about here was a little bridge reflected in the water. So again, real, real quick. Yeah, it's a great way to capture uh, movement. And you, you can do this, you know, you're, they're, they're forcing you to move. You're moving while you're doing this. But if you're out at a museum, an aquarium, your natural history museum, you know, the zoo. Now, of course, the animals are moving. They don't probably move real quick, so you have some time to draw them. But, you know, it's just a way to practice your drawing and sketching while in na with nature while moving. You could do the same thing if, like Faithful Mess mentioned earlier about a Animal Planet or the Discovery Channel. You know, if you have a sketchbook and a pencil with you, the thing about doing something like this, guys, is you can't be, oh, I've got to make this perfect. Oh, no, 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 that doesn't look good enough. Where's my eraser? You can't do that. You just have to sketch and go, sketch and go, keep moving and not care. You, it's, it's the idea of hand-eye coordination and your observations more than it is about getting a perfect drawing. Okay, so this one was Japanese Gardens in, uh, I won't try to pronounce the city. But anyway, so, um, and then there was a little bridge with people on the bridge. And then there were these rocks in the water. And then here's some koi. And I wrote down that koi can live 80 years. They would have put that up there on the info. So koi can live 80 years. The original garden was in 1587. And it started as a rock formation. And I guess the Japanese just continuously built up this particular garden. Um, do I have another pet? Yeah, here's another. Um, this is the Japanese garden continue. So there's a little pagoda. Here's some leaves that look like stars. Here's some other little plants. The great blue heron. So look how quick that, I mean, you just don't have too much time. They're moving around quick. They're moving quick. This one was the desert on, in uh, Arches National Park in U Moab, Utah. So it's, again, it started like from here. This would have been the sunrise. Then they moved up to here. And they got you a little closer to all the, the you know, those red rock formations in Utah. Then they got you closer. So, and, and every time they get you a little closer, I would just draw whatever was in front of me. They'd zoom in on some plants. Uh, they would tell you the different kind, like that was the Indian paintbrush, and I wrote bright orangey red. This cactus and the different kinds, pine cone, cactus, and all. Just, just drew whatever and wrote down whatever they said. Um, this one was um, 
another uh, the midnight sun in Norway. Again, this was all like a, this was all a white ice cap. Uh, the, this ship, this boat was out stuck in the ice. So I just drew it like it was in ice. And the only animals that I saw were these northern fulmars. So, you know, you just draw real quick. You draw real. Uh, Kenny says, I have to. Okay, bye, Kenny. I'm almost done anyway, Kenny. I'm going to be here five more minutes. Uh, this one was moose in the morning in Maine. And so they were moving. They were going through the water. Here I was drawing them while their little heads were sticking up out of the water. And they're moving along. And so, and I just wrote as much, you know, just drew as many as I could, quick as I could, and then made little notes. There was the day I watched it and the notes about where it was. <laughs> yeah, Moose. Moose in the morning. That was the name of it. See, I wrote down the name of the, I wrote the name of the episode and everything. And look at it. I wrote the colors orange, yellow, and lavender sky. Then this one was Yellowstone geysers, and there wasn't a lot to draw. They were just focused on the geysers. They didn't go through Yellowstone. They just went to the geysers. <laughs> then this one was buff, uh, bison before breakfast. This was in Yellowstone. This is on another day. And so I just did a whole bunch of uh, quick bison sketches. Yeah, it's just you got to catch the essence of it, right? This one was in Maine. Um, the the geese here. This was another one in Florida. Then this was now this is page. This was the original page here, and I went back because I skipped a page somehow. So I had a lot more. This was a Woodstock, Vermont, Billings Farm. And so I drew the horses, the cows, and then I had some more horses and cows. So just quick. And um, they're moving. This is not, they're not, it's not still pictures. These animals are moving while you're drawing them. Bye, Carla. So look, there I drew an eye, butts, <laughs> noses, just whatever you could capture on the, uh, as quick as you could. Right? This one was called Tai Chi um, on the Golden Gate Bridge. So all this day, all they did was they had the Golden Gate Bridge in the back and these little people doing Tai Chi. Now, this was on a hill here and the Golden Gate Bridge was in the back. I was trying to capture their Tai Chi movements, but, you know, just with stick figures. <laughs> then this one was uh, some great blue herons. Oh, this was Alaska. So I'm not sure. I think that's part of another one. But here's where the bears were coming out of hibernation. So, um, like, there's one just laying down there. See, this is a close-up of his face there. There's his eyes. This is a close-up of his face. So the bears were coming out of hibernation. And um, so I just tried to capture, oh, you are saying bye to someone else? Okay, Carla. So, and I wrote that the bears are coming awake after seven months in hibernation. Uh, then what else? I think that's it. I think that's all of them. I have some other things in here, but I think that's all my sunrise are. So I did that for a few weeks. Okay, back to our 1,001 Ways to Be Creative. Let's go back to the page I was on. And I'm going to read you these, and then we're going to go. Don't forget, Janet comes on in about an hour. And um, so if you want to uh, follow her. And I hope, hope you guys followed each other and, and found, uh, some, found some new friends like our Ruth Sheldon. Okay, we're at 203, number 203. Develop your own eccentricity. 204. Who are your influences? And I say this every time when I'm reading out this book. If something else occurs to you while I'm reading these prompts, like, you know, I could say who are your influences, but something else may pop into your mind. Inventors. Inventors popped into your mind. Well, write down what's your favorite inventors, what's your favorite, you know, kind of mind map these ideas out. You don't have to just stick with the what I'm reading to you. Put get it out your society of idea collector notebook and start writing your own ideas. Whatever occurs to you, whatever crosses your mind, 
while, you know, thinking about these prompts and inspiration. Write it down. Just follow that brain thread. <laughs> follow that idea. 205. A free range brain meanders, roams, and wanders. It creates new ideas and new worlds. Like what I was just saying. 206. Make a conscious effort to introduce positive change into your life. Conscious effort to do so. Don't just wait for it to come. Don't just think, oh, and I say it all the time as well. 99% of inspiration is in your butt. You sit down, you pick up your paper, your pens, your pencils, your paints, whatever it is, and you do it. You sit down and do it. You can't wait to feel inspired. And if you've ever had a job in creativity, if you've ever been a writer, a, like I was a um, visual merchandiser, decorating department stores. And if our boss says, uh, y'all need to come up with a new idea for the children's department and the theme is this and this, you know, I expect it, we'll see some at the end of the day. He doesn't care or she does not care if you do not feel inspired. You don't. You don't get to feel inspired. You've got to go out and do it. You know, whatever that it is, you know, you can't just wait and say, oh, I don't feel like it. You know, I don't, I'm not inspired today. Well, you know, that's fine if you're just dilly dallying at home and you don't really care, you know, whether you, uh, <laughs> whether you make something that day or not. But if you want to make something that day, you know, mind map, get your society idea collector notebook out. Try some of the things we've talked about here. You know, um, even if you share what you, your ideas with a good friend so you can just, you know, uh, plow through those initial things or, you know, but don't just sit and wait for inspiration because you'll never, you'll, you might get a few things done, but you won't get much done. 207. Good artists figure out their strengths and learn how to circumvent their weaknesses. 208, create posters to hold up in a cheering section. Now, again, just because it's telling you to create poster doesn't mean you have to go out, buy a poster board and make some poster that you're not going to go to some football game. But you can write, you can, you can uh, sketch it. You can sketch out the idea. You can, if you were going to create, if, let's just say, if you were going to go to a cheering section of whatever, then get your sketchbooks out, cheap sketchbooks, you know, copy paper, whatever you're sketching on, and, and just write down all your ideas. Write the ideas down. You think, to yourself, well, I'm never going to go to cheering anything. Why do I have to create a poster? It's not so much about creating the poster for a cheering section as it is about getting your brain moving, getting your idea, your inspiration, your creativity flowing. It will happen when you pick up a pencil and do it. Do it. Make up the rules as you go. Bring creative starts from within. Being being creative starts from within. It has little to do with outer circumstances or people. So there we go, guys. We read that page. I got the note for the next week. And I try to read a pay, you know, a double page spread every week. We're only up to 200. Again, if you wanted this book, um, you can get it on Amazon, I'm sure. Or if you have a Tuesday morning, maybe it's still there. Um, a thousand and one ways to be creative, unlocking uh, some creativity. So again, all right, guys, well, I'm heading out. I'm going to go eat a chicken salad sandwich with the Hubster. And um, again, if you did not watch the show on Friday, the impromptu on Friday with Zippy the Unicorn. Oh, my gosh. Please go watch it. If you are if you're sad or depressed or just need a giggle, go watch Friday shows only an hour and 15 minutes or something like that. And I mean, even Janet, I don't know if you were here when I said this earlier, but um, I showed the part where Zippy busted out laughing at um, <laughs> at the Invisible Man. And I showed that part to Hubster. He watched some of it. He was there like, like off and on. But he, I showed him that particular part. He goes, oh, my gosh, Zippy is a hilarious. you got to have Zippy back on. Have Zippy back on your show. And I said, I'm going to. <laughs> So if y'all want to laugh, go watch uh, go watch Friday's show. Uh, thank you so much, Carla, 
Thank you, Julie. And Julie, that was an awesome carousel horse. Oh my gosh, that was an awesome. Hi, G. I miss seeing you. And anybody else I miss, thanks, everybody. I'm hoping that um, this the chat will follow on over to YouTube. Sometimes it takes an hour or so for the, the full chat, I mean, the full video. Uh, we've been here three and a half hours. Sometimes it can take an hour or so for the chat to fully render and get over on YouTube. And sometimes the chat shows up and sometimes it doesn't. And I hear other YouTubers saying the same thing. So I don't know. Did YouTube flip a switch? Are they working on something? I don't know. But thanks, everybody, for being here, and including our lurkers. And we will see you at Janet's and other streamers. And if not, I will see you here again on Wednesday morning. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Bye, guys.